eat it? Oh, we. Oui. <laughs> you have been listening to Batman Nightfall, starring Bob Sessions as Bruce Wayne and the Batman, Michael Goff as Alfred, Carrie Shale as Jean Paul Valley and the Joker, <laughs> Peter Marinka as Bane, William Roberts as Commissioner Gordon, Michael Roberts as Nomaz and the Ventriloquist, <laughs> Lorelai King as Montoya and Lady Shiva, Eric Myers as Sergeant Bullock in the computer, Stuart Milligan as the Riddler, Ali Parsons as Dr. Chandra Consolving, <laughs> Lisa Marzello as Mayor Kroll and Abattoir, James Good as the Scarecrow and Nightwing, Chris. Samet has the Mad Hatter, and Daniel Marinka as Tim Drake, Robin. The music was composed and performed by Mark Russell, the Boy Wonder. <laughs> Based on stories by Denny O'Neill, Doug Monks, Chuck Dixon, and Alan Grant. Published and copyrighted by DC Comics. Edited by Denny O'Neill, Charles Cochran, Scott Peterson, Darren Vincenzo, and Jordan B. Garfinkel. Oh, Jordan. <laughs> Technical realization by Paul Dealey and Jessica Bowles in the Soundhouse Limited. tell you a few things about Gotham City. It has a population of 7.5 million. It boasts the tallest example of neo-Gothic architecture in North America, which you're suspended from, by the way. It has the largest percentage of sociopathic criminals in any metropolitan conurbation, so you're strictly small fry. And it's got me. Oh, no, please! I can't take the height! You must be from out of town, or you'd know better than to mug tourists at the Founders' Day Parade. No, oh, mister! You can watch it from here till the police arrive. Hope the wire holds good. That was an old batarang. Police estimate a million Gothamites are lining the streets for the annual Founders Day Parade, Mike. Well, Sherry, the city loves a good time. Only 40 muggings and three deaths reported in the last half hour. We've just been watching the... The Brotherhood is finished, Thomas. I will find you before you find me. But we have found you, Leha. Hide though you might. The vengeance of Azrael is upon you. The hour is come. I am half a world away from you, freak of nature. Even Azrael's sword cannot stretch. Know that men call you liar. Know that men call you betrayer. Know that men call you defiler. Therefore, it is the duty of the angel Azrael to bring you punishment. You will die by the blade of fire. I do not think so, Mr. Angel. You dare threaten Azrael with a firearm? As if bullets could harm him. Oh. To me, Mr. Angel, it seems as if they have done a great deal of harm. A sword? Armor? This is the 20th century, and you will now die! A fall is as good as a bullet. For after you perishes the Brotherhood. You're Dr. Flanders? Dr. Jeremiah Arkham. Come in. They're eating now. It'll be quiet for a while. You read my manuscript. You'll give me a recommendation. I've read enough to want to show you this part of the institution. I didn't make notes, but when I surrendered my clothes at security, they kept my pen. There's no pockets in these old walls. There are no zippers either. Nothing made of metals allowed in here. We've learned from experience, Dr. Flanders. The privilege I'm about to share with you. Pardon? Welcome to hell, Dr. Flanders. Welcome to Arkham Asylum. No, Doctor. No one must know of Azrael. Azrael? What's Azrael? I was, like my father before me, as you are now. But I don't understand. Listen. What? Listen. Abandon my body to be found by strangers. What? Then fly home. But there is a package for you there with instructions. <laughs> when you find Nomos, you want to explain everything. I have failed. Nomos? <laughs> but promise me you will not... 
Reports say 14 people were injured and... Riots are not usually what you concern yourself with, Master Bruce. Four were killed, including Sherry Port. Ah, uh, yes, the television personality. You knew her. Bruce Wayne knew her. Warning. Bunk access to Batcave open. And liked her. Batcave secured. Witnesses say that an angel dropping from the sky started the panic. Then, in the mess that followed, the angel vanished. Uniform store open. Vanishing angels and sudden death. I retract my earlier statement. It is exactly the sort of thing you concern yourself with. A couple of other items, Alfred. Maybe related, maybe not. Scanner on. Scanner on. One. A cop found this in an alley a block away from the riot site. A Kevlar vest. Obviously not as bulletproof as advertised, judging by its condition. Your cowl, sir. Mm. Two. Carlton Lee owns a penthouse apartment directly above the site of the parade incident. Time for a little detective work. I'm afraid I'm not acquainted with Mr. Lee Howe. You're not alone. He's a money man with no past. He traffics in exotic arms and ammunition, computer-controlled rockets, laser-guided missiles, Teflon-coated bullets. The kind that can penetrate armored vests. Gives us a couple of tentative conclusions. Look at the blood on that vest. Witnesses say the angel survived that fall, staggered off into the crowd. Imagine the willpower it took for him to keep going. What kind of man is he? No one on earth is better qualified than you to answer that question. Car door. Ignition sequencing. Engaging turbofans. You better have the Learjet fuel just in case. I dare not ask if I find it to have a holiday, sir. Leha took a Swiss air flight to Lucerne this morning. His arms operation is based in Europe. I intend to make sure he keeps it there. The police department doesn't need an arsenal like that on the streets. Yeah, neither do you. Door closed. Perhaps it would be prudent to pack immediately. I have to find my thermal underwear. You flew back to Europe as your father Azrael directed. Only 24 hours ago, you were a graduate student at Gotham University. Now you are a guest in a foreign land with no notion of why you are here. Who are you? I am no more your new teacher. You will learn the system. The system? The... Ah, what did you do that for? Why not strike me back? You can, if you are not weak. I wouldn't hit a dwarf. Sorry. My body is crooked. I am older than you can imagine. Your father never told you he was a member of a secret organization dating back to the 14th century. That he killed 11 men and two women in cold blood. That he was a liar and a failure. The Swiss out by helicopter. The noise does rather distract from the view. Our dead knight in Gotham City, the fallen angel, tossed his sword into a dumpster in the alley behind Lee Ha's apartment block. It bore an insignia I asked Oracle to look up for me. She traced it back to this village. And this is the direction in which Lee Ha was seen heading for in a hired chopper earlier today. This is the sigil, the seal of our order. The emblem your father and his ancestors bore upon their weapons as avenging angels, seeking out and destroying those who betrayed the trust of their fellow members. Gaze into the sigil. Unlock the hidden training your father gave you. Know what you already know. Oh, I am Jean Paul Valley, heir to the sword of Azrael. I bend my will to avenge those members of the Order of Saint Dumas betrayed by their fellows. My life is as nothing. I serve in the robe of the avenging angel. Pretty funny. You think so? Will the swords bite and use you? No! <laughs> An accurate kick. How'd I do that? How did I know to do that? Your father did his work well. Is it possible this Order of St. Dumas still exists? That somehow Leha, the arms dealer, has a beef with them? I think it's very possible, sir. I can see him now directly below us. And he appears to be aiming a rocket launcher at the chalet! We're too close! The order of Saint Dumas is finished! I have destroyed the dwarf nobles and his apprentice! Azrael is no more! I am free! Free! Quick! 
Austria before the fuel tank goes up. I'm with you, Master Bruce. What is this place, Nomaz? Quiet. There should be no aircraft in this valley. Someone attacked us. Look, a week ago, I was a student at Gotham University. Now I'm holed up in the cellar of a medieval Swiss monastery learning to be a hired killer. What sort of religion is this? There is no time. We must leave. Explain things! Now! Good. Good. Huh? Our order, the followers of St. Dumas, broke away from their religious establishment about 600 years ago. We had much wealth from our years in the Crusades. Wealth we had husbanded until it was, is, vast. This man who murdered my father, this Leia. He was that treasurer, but proved unstable. You call this stable? He became greedy, looted our accounts. He built an arms business for himself, and by trading in death, he found cause to desert St. Dumas for the worship of a darker spirit. The demon lord, Pius. Now you have become a Zayel. Pius's greatest foe, Loa, will kill you or die trying. He's out there now. I must face him. We will not reach civilization before darkness, Master Bruce. And then... Take my parka, put it over your own. It may help. Me? Into the ranks of the unemployed after you perish of the cold? Out of the question. I have another suit. The one I always wear when there's a possibility of meeting serious bad guys. And this is the heated model. You're a shining example to Boy Scouts everywhere, Master Bruce. Demon. It is the demon himself. What the... Wait, I'm not sure. Look at the mask. The horns. The winged cape. It is him, garbed as the demon, put on the face of Azrael and cut him down! Sir, that lad's costume bears some resemblance to the description of Gotham's fallen angel. You don't think... I don't have time to think. He means business. Demon! You invade the sacred estates of the Order of St. Dumas! The angel Azrael has come to mete out punishment! I believe your uniform has led to some small confusion. You will die by the blade of fire! Sir! Look out! You have offended the Order of St. Dumas. Your life is forfeit to Azrael. That does it. <laughs> you are the demon's servant. You got the wrong guy. No, Mas, I don't think this is Leia. Who can tell under that mat? I think we deserve an explanation, young man. What is your name? I... It's... Uh, I can't remember. And who are you? Why are you here? We're from the United States. We follow Lehigh here to Switzerland. I don't know what your argument is with him, but I believe he killed a man in Gotham City. A man dressed not unlike our young friend here. My father! He killed my father! He believes us dead. Apart from myself, he was the only other alive with the list of names and residences of members of the Order of St. Dumas. To consolidate our funds to his own use, he will slay them all, one by one. Do you know where he would strike first? Of course. Dupont, my deputy, but he is ill, sick in hospital in New York. Then we've got to get there in a hurry. Back shortly with your medication, Mr. Dupont. Buzz if you need me. Yes, Nelson. Who is that? Orderly? Dupont? The Lord Beast summons you to hell. No! No! Liar! Betrayer! Defiler! It is the duty of the angel Azrael to bring you punishment! Azrael! Suffer the fate of all who oppose the Lord be it. Oh. You were lucky to manage a soft landing, young man. Alfred, be careful! Leia's in there! Not anymore. He's escaping in that ambulance. I must avenge my father! Ah, my master is certainly attempting to bring his killer to justice, though I'm not sure he'll catch that vehicle on foot. So that's your master? But before he was dressed as the Batman. Ah. Ah. Pull over, pal. You're under arrest. Not where your clip is so precarious, Inter Ah! You have been following me. You, the English man and the dwarf's apprentice. Oh. The Quark and the Angel Azrael still live. 
justice cannot be permitted. Thus you will draw them to me, and I shall sacrifice you all to the demon Lord Fierce. in attempting to arrest me. But then, of course, you were sent, sent. My lord B.A. sent you as a hostage to bring the dwarf normals and his young novice to me. And because of who you are. Really? And who am I? Gotham City's famous millionaire. A rich fool who spends his indolent life watching others increase his fortune. Long I have coveted your power. Tell me how I can gain control of the Wayne Millions. Your industrial power base, Wayne Corp. I want the levers of your power. Talk or die. Leia owns an oil refinery just a mile from here. If he's holding your master hostage, Alfred, that's probably where they are. I don't know who I'm more concerned about, you, young man, or my master. What do you mean, Alfred? Drive me faster. We cannot let Da escape the wrath of Azrael. As soon as the lad puts on that executioner's mask, his thoughts are not his own. Azrael does not think. Azrael punishes. Perhaps this Azrael does both. Talk, damn you! How can you resist me? Neither torture nor the two serum will loosen your tongue. Sign of a misspent youth. Leia! Know that men call you traitor. Know that men call you betrayer. Know that men call you defiler. Therefore, it is the duty of the angel Azrael to bring you punishment. Azrael! I killed you once. I can kill you again. Oh, no. The oil pipes. The flaming sword. Lad, you must do something. Master Bruce is trapped. That costume will protect you. Rescue him. Oh. Azrael does not rescue. Azrael avenges. Come, our work here is finished. No. Oh. Wait, wait, it cannot be. Master Bruce. I'm okay. You disobeyed. You disgrace your mission as an angel of vengeance. I am not an angel. I am a man. What's your name, boy? My name is Jean Paul Valley. That was my father's name, too. <laughs> you will forever be possessed by the system, by the Order of Saint Duma. Perhaps I can use it for good. I'd like to return to Gotham City with you, Mr. Wayne, or should I use your other title? I'm willing to help you try, Jean Paul. Anything can happen in Gotham City. I think we're about to prove that anything can happen in Gotham City, gentlemen. In fact, I'd like to propose a toast. To the new syndicate. <laughs> Here's the law and order in Gotham City. Whatever the laws, we give the orders. <laughs> to proceed, to proceed with business. Your business is with me, Novak. But tell me about the Batman. Drop those pieces, boys, and a hawk will come to your eyes. The Batman, what's he to you? I am going to kill him. So, uh, you want me to be partners, right? Like you were partners with my friend, Bart. Hey, Jimmy, long time no see. Hey, you uh, Verdi Colosimo. I, I heard you was in some Caribbean jail. Uh, I was. That's where I met Bane. What's this guy got to do with me? Bane is different, Jimmy. He was born in jail. He watched his mother die in there. But he survived. Survived everything, even the medical experiments. Left them with special needs. When you double crossed me on that Colombian deal, I ended up in that joint. Found the place was ruled by pain. Found them hungry to learn. So I taught him about the USA, Gotham City. Showed him how he could rule this city like he ruled that jail. By pulling down the wise guys like you who think they run it. By screwing up the authorities. By taking out the Batman. And believe me, Bane can do these things because he's got venom. Venom? What's venom? It's the ultimate steroid and it's pumped direct into his brain. <laughs> Time to bait the trap. Time for something that will bring the Batman to us. So long. No! No! Oh, oh, oh. Beautiful 
of quaint old custom. You can't beat our asylum. Quiet number 21. Why don't you come through and make me? Oh, I forgot. Physical force against inmates by guards is strictly not allowed. Arkham Asylum Rule 48, subsection D. Who made these rules anyway? Prisoners are not allowed sharp objects. Where's the fun in that? I want a sharp object. Come on, sucker. I'm bored. You won't be so funny once you're back out on the streets, fella. Oh, my. Do I detect a veiled threat? I hear there's a new big bad guy out there named Bane. Got a big drug habit, too. Some kind of super steroid. I'm betting he's gonna knock you where the creeps right in your collective butt. Don't you threaten me. Only Batsy gets to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Computer on. Computer on. Load biodiagnosis program. Program loaded. Physical examination Batman dated April 11th. Recent physical abuse by third parties has led to significant metabolic imbalance and epidermal scar tissue deterioration. Rest and rehabilitation strongly recommended for a period not less than three months. Warning. Clock access to Batcave open. Tim Drake to see you, Master Bruce. Bruce? I'm back. Tim, welcome back. We should celebrate. Alfred? I'll send out for something suitable, sir. We appear to be right out of uh, junk food. Batcave secured. How was the world tour? Learned a lot. Want to see? Sure, Can I... what? Oh. Can I done that to you a couple of months back? Yep. It's time, isn't it? Time for me to put on the uniform. To join you. Out there. No. Not yet. You're not ready. Come on, Bruce. You need me. It's not that straightforward, Tim. You're a smart kid. You made the connection between Batman and Bruce Wayne, something I made sure was almost impossible. But that doesn't give you the right to claim partnership. Bruce, I'm in a unique position to help you. Because your father's estate backs onto mine? Because I did what you told me. I learned from the masters who taught you. I've had two partners already. Dick Grayson left to become Nightwing. I hardly see him anymore. Jason Todd was killed by the Joker. This time I'll need to be sure. You'll have to prove you're ready. Allow your skills to mature. Share them with Jean-Paul Valley. You both have potential, but you must learn to exercise patience. Bat signal shining over the city. I'll catch you later. Car door. But Bruce, I am ready. I can be Robin. I'm ready. That is the bad signal. The searchlight's mounted up there, uh, on top of the police building. Look, you can just see the police commissioner by the parrot. See? With the mustache. I can kill him. Somebody can come with me. No truck. We follow Bane's orders. Be quiet. What is it, Burn? Hear that? It is gone. <laughs> That's a car. That's him. Run it down for me again, Bullock. Right, room full of mooks with handguns gets chopped to itty bitty pieces by person to person's unknown. New talent working for the mob? Uh, could be. There's talk on the street, name like Shane Bane, something like that. We'll meet in my office tomorrow. Get off home, Harvey. Right, thanks, Commissioner. <sighs> Come on. Where are you? If this were a mob killing. No! Oh! Oh! Give an old man a break, you startled me. Jimmy Novak was shouldering his way into extortion and unions. Well, what about this other character? Bane or whatever. We should eliminate the obvious first. Who's trying to buy the Teamsters? That would be the Manklin brothers. They're mean enough for a job this ugly. They have a social club over by the waterfront on Peters. But I need more than a suspicion to get a warrant. Not that it ever stopped. You! Damn it, I wish he'd let me finish a sentence before leaving. The wing. Creature of the Nine. We take him now? Gotham City is ours. No, he is not like the others. This one will take finesse. This one requires talent. This one is mine. I could have taken the car. But I'd miss the stars. The night air rushing past me silent rooftops and then wait a moment somebody following me impossible surely night vision on nothing visible 
too many extractor vents on this roof to read body heat. Huh? Your senses are sharp, creature of the night. But you do not employ means to sharpen them further, as I do. How much would it take to break you? I shall relish finding out. Who's with your Jean Paul Valley? I'm your trainer. But you're Robin? You were expecting someone else? Well, the Batman says. Oh, what's this? You're a training outfit. Not as spiffy as your Asriel does, maybe, but this is for undercover work. While you're putting that stuff on, I'll show you how I picked the lock to your apartment. Lock? And after that, we'll do a little rooftop surveillance. Commissioner, you're working late? Uh, what is it, Montoya? Oh, I just got a call in. Prowler's seen on a rooftop at the waterfront. Sounds like someone's snooping around the Macklin Brothers joint. Huh? You want we should send a squad car to investigate? Send a squad car, but one is all we'll need. I wouldn't be surprised if that was a friend of ours doing a little detective work. Mm, the Batman. Although he's normally careful not to be seen. Then again, he seemed awfully tired to me when we spoke earlier. I never allow our relationship to turn personal, but tonight I was sorely tempted to tell him to take a vacation for once in his life. Hey, who turned out the lights? Is it the cops? It's just one guy. No way. There's two of them. Hey, whoever you are, nobody takes out the them cars in their own. Oh, stop. Dougie, did you guys fall down and hurt yourselves? Hold it. I see you, pal. It's dark and used quick, but I got 14 more shots. Nobody's that quick. Drop the gun or I'll hurt you. Who turned out the lights? Uh, you did, dude. Put them back on, huh? Get out of here fast. Your life is in danger. I'm pulling. Yeah. Oh, somebody! Somebody got me by the neck! Night lenses. You do not kill. Ah. That is strange. A creature cloaked in nightmare. A figure of terror in a city of terror. And you do not kill. You're not with the Macklins. You're not with anyone I know. Who are you? I am Bane. It is a name you will scream for mercy. You're threatening me? Get in line. You will scream it as this one does. No. <laughs> you will share his fate. You will scream my name. <laughs> my God. Jim Gordon? It's the Batman. Get an ambulance over to the Macklin Brothers' place on Peterson. I've got a man here with a broken back. Good afternoon, Mr. Bruce Wayne. Dr. Consolving, how do you do? Please, call me Chandra. Did you say Mr. Drake referred you to me? Uh, no, his son, Tim. Being, uh, well, neighbors, we see quite a bit of each other. You said that you were feeling exhausted, Mr. Wayne. Have you tried complete rest? I guess relaxation is an art that's lost on me. I guess I'm just driven. You need to find your way back to what bugs you deep inside. I have my own intuitive method. First of all, you sleep. And I'm prescribing you a homeopathic restorative to take before you have some very early nights. Wow, this stinking paint! Brown paper, paint paper, flat paper! What you got against green paper? Police are warning members of the public not to approach this guy. No, the green, scaly skin condition isn't catching, but he possesses enormous strength. Since those pictures came in, he's made his way into Midtown Gotham, with the police still keeping their distance. Who is he, Bird? Killer Croc? He's a freak, Bane, with the mother of all skin problems. But like they say, he's strong. Used to wrestle alligators before he decided to become Gotham's new crime lord. Mm. Thought he was strong enough to take out the Batman. I thought it would prove his worthiness to lead. Came real freaking close, too. Then maybe it is time to prove my worthiness. <laughs> yeah. I will take out this killer croc. And then I will succeed where he failed. Against Batman. <laughs> Alfred! Alfred! Whoa, some place Bruce has got here. Uh, Master Timothy, I got your call, but it's no good. Master Bruce is unavailable. Unavailable? Killer Crocs on the rampage. We gotta do something. Quite impossible. 
Master Bruce is under doctor's orders to catch up on all the sleep he's lost. And while we both know he could fight his way through anything to get out of that bed, doing so now would be the worst thing possible. But failing to show against Killer Croc, it's like an open invitation to all the weirdos in Gotham City. There's only one Batman, and he needs time to rest and recuperate. Yeah, but they don't know that. What do you mean? We better get down to the cave, Jean-Paul. There isn't a lot of time. When he's ordered to rest the same nightmare every night. Oh, give him the pearls, Mom. He just wants your... And if he knew what was happening tonight oh. in his name, I wonder if he'd ever rest again. Oh. This costume, it feels as though it could have been made for me. Don't get too attached to it, John Paul. The owner doesn't know you're giving it an outing. And if you must talk, remember to try and sound like him. What's in these pouches? Don't touch the utility belt. It's full of fancy stuff. Just use your smarts and stick by me. Let's go. Hey, my boy, when are you going to make the call on the croc? I wanted to avoid shooting Mr. Green Jeans, Harvey. You know, it only makes him mad. This thing's sad. He's totally out of his swamp. Wait a minute. What is it? Over there on that rooftop. It's Batman. No, wait, it can't be. There's two people up there. It's Batman, all right. But I haven't seen the kid in months. What kid? Rob. Better than ever, too. Bring him on! Show yourself! All right, hold it. Uh, <clears throat> hold it right there. Can it, Willie Jean Paul? I'll do the talking. Come here, bat thing. Time for your punishment. Demon, oh. prepare to confess yourself. You'll face the avenging angel, Azrael. Jump up. Batman, cut it out. In my condition, as Azrael is kicking in. This may have been a bad idea. You will pay for your transgressions. <laughs> Uh, Robin, what happened? You screwed up good. Shoot! Who is this? No, you are not him. And who the... I, I came to destroy the killer croc. I thought his madness might bring the Batman out of hiding. But you are not the Batman. Uh, I shall destroy him anyway. And you shall tell the Batman how easily it was done. Fueled by venom. That thing on his arm. The pipes lead around to the back of his head. He's pumping himself full of some kind of drug. Huh, so you got some button blows up like a balloon. I ain't impressed. You are too ugly to hit. So we will try this. Oh, you broke my arm, no! Wally, you tell the real Batman what you saw here tonight. Tell him what awaits him. He will scream for mercy. Yep, I'll remember that. Meat Wagon just took the croc up to Gotham General. Both thumbs broken. Yeah, but I don't know if it was Batman who did it. Sure as heck not his usual M.O. And you think Robin is back, Harvey? It's been such a long time. Uh, put it this way, Commissioner. The kid was wearing a red vest with a gold letter R on it and a cape. Not exactly the outfit he used to wear, maybe. But too close for the Easter Bunny, if you catch my drift. Uh, go type up your report. I'll wait up here another five minutes. All right. There it is, Jean-Paul. The next roof. And there's Gordon, waiting for us. And I should still pose as the Batman? Bruce wouldn't want to let him down. Maybe, if you hang back and stick to the shadows, Gordon will... Gordon huh? will know. Batman, I... You I... might fool others, but not him. Thanks for your help, Hazriel. I'll handle it from here. <laughs> I better go change him. I'll catch you later. As for you... Are you gonna chew me up for wearing this suit without permission? Depends on what you've learned. Let's see how you do with Batarang in line first. Come on, Robin. Batman? Sorry I'm late, Commissioner. You remember Robin. Uh, Robin, good. Good to have you back. Good evening, Commissioner. Well, his manners have improved. A signal. What have you got for me? Got a lousy riddle. It came with the usual extortion demand. Mm. What crowns just one, but beats a dozen? Bim, bam, boom. Some percussion. Can you check this for fingerprints? Yes. They belong to Edward Nigma. Edward Nigma? The Riddler. Edward Nigma. Enigma. I get it. That's really dumb. No sense in drawing attention to ourselves now you're here. I'll switch the signal. Oh, here. Uh, they've gone. <laughs> what did I say about manners? 
stupid system, that bad signal. Anyone with any knowledge of electronics could eavesdrop on them. He moved differently, slower, almost in pain. And whatever is wrong with him, it is the reason he sent an imposter to confront Killer Croc. But Killer Croc was nothing. And this Riddler, ah, I'm going to solve this riddle first. And when I find this Riddler, I'm going to pump him up. Car door. Baby seen all pumped up somehow. And there were these, like, features in the back of his helmet. Injecting some kind of chemical directly into his brain? Yeah. Making him one angry dude. And he's sharp, too. He knew John Paul wasn't you. Saw through him right away. As if he figured it out. Figured what out? Well, there's something, you know, wrong with you. Nothing's wrong with me, Robin. Now I have work to do. You'll have to make your own way home. What? I've got to track down the Riddler. You're not ready to face Major League criminals. Not but... yet. Go home. Hey, great. Thanks, Robin. Oh. Speed, 52 miles per hour. Reducing to limit. Exiting downtown Goodwood Freeway. Hard to focus on the riddle when I'm trying to fight off this fatigue. Computer, read me back the text of the extortion note. What crowns just one, but beats a dozen? Bim, bam, boom. Some percussion. What crowns one, but beats a... Course reversed. Now getting north toward Gotham Central. Caution, vehicle is over speed limit. Activating forward safety radar. What crowns one but beats a dozen? The clock tower on top of number one Gotham Plaza. The belfry crowning City Hall. <laughs> Bim, bam, boom, some percussion. In five minutes and still no sign of the Batman. Such bad manners to be late after all the trouble I've taken. Still, it's a good idea to quit the belfry before... Stay perfectly still, Riddler. Here is an enigma for you. Oh. Oh. Good. Oh. Who are you? Breathe deeply. Venom works more quickly in oxygenated blood. What's happening to me? Oh, the effect will wear off in a few hours. And then you are nothing again. Oh. Mm -hmm. Midnight. The countdown's begun. You're losing your touch, Riddler. It usually takes me a good half hour to solve your stupid... Ah! Uh, Batman, you were almost too late. <laughs> On the last bong, at the stroke of midnight, this whole building will go boom. You're using something, aren't you? Aha! Regular dynamite. You can't beat it. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Well, I got to put him down long enough to stop the bomb. This bell might do it. <laughs> Only one chime to go. Got to stop the clapper hitting the hour bell. The mechanism. Too strong. Can't, can't, can't hold it. The wires parted. Huh? Bombs were never my strong point. Hey, Batman. Huh? This is how you really riddle the Riddler. Do it, Trog. Riddler, get down. Oh. <laughs> Message for you, Bats. If you think the Riddler on Venom was hard to beat, wait till you meet someone raised on the stuff. <laughs> so long. Pain. The Riddler was just a pawn in his game of strategy. But what's the master plan? Where will all this end? Repeat! This is Gotham City Armory Emergency Line to the police department! Pack me through somebody for Pete's sake! We have a full-scale assault taking place here! Good morning, Master Bruce. I didn't hear you come in last night. I'm sure you'll only pick but I've made you a full breakfast. Oh, Alfred? Oh, this is not good. Not good at all. Oh, oh. This will not do, Master Bruce. That costume is not to be worn above basement level in this house. It's one of the first rules we agreed on. Huh? I suggest you spend more time dealing with Bruce Wayne's affairs and less on your nocturnal activities. I'm certain Wayne Enterprises could stand a visit from its proprietor. Yes. Maybe you're... Oh, right. Dr. Kinsolving did prescribe sleep. 
Frame mooks. Uh, Bruce wants me to teach you what I know. Help you to overcome that mind control thing. Maybe I can never change. The programming runs too deep. The system, uh, it got to me when I was a child. That's bull. A crisis situation develops and I react. You'll get a handle on it. That man believes in you. So do I. It's like an ordnance inventory for World War Three, Commissioner. Harvey's not exaggerating, Commissioner. Automatic assault rifles, anti-personnel mines, heavy machine guns, fragmentation grenades. Yeah, excuse me. Even a few crates of shoulder launch stinger missiles. Yeah. The bright side seems to be that nobody was hurt. Not yet. Something tells me there's a body count to come. You think those munitions were stolen for domestic use, Montoya? Commissioner, that was a truckload of real exotic weaponry. And right now, it's loose on our streets. We got a warehouse full of artillery, Bane. How do you want to move against the Batman? I've stopped toying with him, Bird. It's time to unleash his worst nightmare. Yeah. To undo his very life's work itself. Fetch me the blueprints of Arkham Asylum. Arkham? You really gonna do it? It was your suggestion. A simple idea, but uniquely effective. Oh, yes. We cracked that shell, and believe me, the nuts will fly. Real shot, John Paul? Long hair doesn't suit the image I want to project. Asriel's gonna join the respectable people. Something like that. I've got to shape up. You know, you could lighten up, JP. You'd make a swell crime fighter if you could lose the urge to kill the criminal. Just cut the hair, Robin. I'll deal with this in my own way. Arkham Asylum. Take you back to the jail on Santa Prisca, boys? Quiet, Talon. Looks like I'm the blueprints, babe. The old building there, the original Elizabeth Arkham Asylum, is mainly administrative. The modern part off the back is the roundhouse. The circular building with no windows. Those are the violent wards, Trog. Those will be our target. Zombie Trog, bring the rocket launchers. Bart, where did you dump the other weapons? Two caches are sitting just near where we blow the perimeter fence. They're bound to find a gap, and then... They can help themselves to arms and ammo. <laughs> Good, let's move on. <laughs> Tranquilizer dart, which hit the Riddler, contains substance identified as super steroid drug, originally produced under the name Venom. It renders subject immensely strong and increases aggression. Computer stop analysis. Yes, Bruce Wayne speaking. It's Shondo Kinsolving, Mr. Wayne. I like to think of myself as pretty hot stuff in the field of holistic medicine. But if one session with me has resulted in your total recovery from exhaustion, I want to tell the world about it. Uh, the herbal restorative was very helpful. It did seem to relax me. Hmm, good. We ought to build on that start. I'll call you later to arrange a date if you like. I'd, uh, I'd like that very much, Dr. Consolving. Chandra. Right. Thank you, Chandra. I appreciate your calling. And it's Bruce. All part of the service. But listen, Bruce, get some rest. You can't function without it, okay? Rest, right. Uh, thanks, Chandra. Goodbye. Rest. I'll need more of it than you know. I face a man whose blood supply is replenished by the ultimate performance enhancer. Venom. The trouble with you is that you think I suffer from insanity. You're wrong. I enjoy every minute of it. Ah! I ain't got time for this. Take a nap. It'll make the time pass quicker. Oh, that's a good one. The judge sentenced me to Arkham for 300 years. Good thing I didn't get life. Ah! Yeah, life no okay. What is it, Otis? Look, look. Over on the hillside, overlooking the violent wards. Hey, guard. Hey, turn off the intercom. Or speak up, will ya? Now this sounds more like it. Incoming! <laughs> what a mess! 
<laughs> I spend all day tidying up my cell, and some inconsiderate mischief maker fires a tank round into it. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure they think twice before doing it again. I'm gonna organize a mass protest right here in the bin, and we're gonna take it to the highest authority in Gotham City in person. <laughs> Look out, world. Targeting the Joker's cell was a good idea, Bane. He's smart enough to have released those others. Smart or crazy? How bad is it, Bullock? Bad. I'll tell you, Commissioner, Montoya was right about them stolen munitions. They sure as hell stayed in Gotham City. Then somebody decided to give them to every lunatic in Arkham Asylum. Harvey, look out! One escape be heading your way! Of course, quite a few of these guys are not going to be running around for too long. Oh, free! Free to gather my legions once more! They thought to imprison a god, ha! I only had to call down thunderbolts to wrestle me from their feeble grasp. They can never contain Maxi Zeus! Hey, uh, Maxi! Yeah? Message boy from Mount Olympus! <laughs> you gotta have a way with these people. You're sick, Harv. Master Bruce! Uh -huh. Alfred, what is it? Sir, the signal. I would have ignored it, but I've just seen it on the news. Somebody blew a hole in Arkham Asylum this morning. What? Every misfit you've hunted down and have put away in that hell hole is armed and trying to escape. Hello? Hello? This is Jeremiah Arkham. Please, God, they can't have cut the phones already. Help me! Somebody! They're battering down my office door! I'm afraid the prognosis is not good for you anyway! Ah! Batman, the Joker, he's got Jeremiah Arkham in there. Any of your men in the building, Jim? Not yet. Keep it that way till I come out. Dr. Arkham, as a former inmate of this establishment, I want to explain this little leaving present me and the boys are giving you. The straps on the jacket run through the length of phone cord, which in turn uses the desk lamp as a pulley. The plug is used as a toggle, which ties it firmly through the trigger guard. Now, for maximum benefit, please keep your whole head in front of the shotgun. Not that you dare to move it anyhow. After all, the point of the exercise is to remove that useless part of your anatomy. Please now don't go away. I want to forget you exactly the way you are. Hmm. Commissioner Gordon, can you read me? I'm in the roundhouse, the violent wards. Power's out. I don't like it. Let's try switching the mask to night vision. You'd better call for more body bags, Jim. Some of the inmates couldn't wait to leave the building before they got to work. Did you hear that? Sounded like Jeremiah Arkham to me. Coming from up ahead. Batman, be careful. We don't know how many have escaped and how many more are waiting in there to pounce. Batman's in there now, Bane. Think he knows you did this to him? If I didn't want his blood so badly burned, I could almost pity him. Batman? Batman! Over here, in the security pen. Dr. Arkham? How do you open this cage? Wait, it's booby-trapped. Connected to this restraining suit. The whole thing will blow my head off if either one of us moves to untie it. Wait a second. Can you move your leg? I don't know. I really can't feel them. The wire's too tight. Okay. Now I've rigged this batarang to sever the wire tying your head to that trigger. The second it hits, you kick yourself backwards in that chair as hard as you can. Got it? Uh, I'll try. What if you miss, Batman? He's dead uh, if I miss. Here it comes. Batman! Thank God! But the Joker... Where is he? The wing is deserted. Where are they all holed up? They're gone. They've gone, don't you understand? Nearly all the criminals in the maximum security area have escaped. Everything you've achieved in your career is Batman. It's gone. All those years spent cleaning up the city. The horrors I've endured to try and set the world a little straighter. Joker, Scarecrow, Ventriloquist, Amygdala, Poison Ivy, Clayface. How many are back out there? How many lives will be forfeit following this escape? Dear God, have I the strength to recapture them all? No. No! No! Joker, Ventriloquist, and Scarface. Scarecrow, 
Riddler. Loose in the night, running free in the dark. Most of the worst and more heavily armed, permanently dangerous. Who did this to me? Who broke them out of Ark? My guess is it's the guy I told you about, Batman. The one who busted up Killer Croc. Bane. And he's definitely got it in for you. Yes, the one who followed me to the Manklin Brothers hideout. Come on, Robin. If we can't find the devil himself, his progeny are legion enough. The Cavalier. We had five tactical units there, Mayor Kroll, and there was a hostage situation. Why in heaven's name didn't you order your men to shoot to kill, Gordon? It doesn't work that way. My men discharge their firearms only in defense. Then we're going to end up with a lot of dead citizens, Commissioner. Oh. I'll be expecting results, arrests, a dead or alive attitude to getting these maniacs behind bars again, or your job's on the line. So we must have a police band, Batman. What are we looking for? We'll know it when we hear it. And that was it, I'll bet. What was? What's a haberdasheria? Usually a hat shop. Uh-huh. Let's beat the police to the scene. Our guest is Dr. Simpson Flanders, noted expert on the criminally insane. Dr. Flanders, your new book criticizes the standards of treatment for offenders serving time in Arkham Asylum. But what exactly do we do with these evil and dangerous people now loose on our streets? <laughs> evil and dangerous are emotive words, Petra. This is why I wrote my book, I'm Sane and So Are You. Uh -huh. We must reach out to these people. They're out there tonight, disoriented, alienated. Mm -hmm. Many of them sharing a terror of the excessive force used in their persecution by the Batman. Yes. Hey, it's Bird. One of our nutcases has made a move against the man. Which one? Mad Hatter. I've sent the Hawk to follow him. Keep me posted. You say it's a hat shop, but where are the hats? The place has been cleaned out. Looks like the first of the major Arkham escapees has made his move. What's this? A note addressed to the Batman? Uh-huh. Hold on to your hats. Jervis Tetch. Request the pleasure of your company at a tea party. Date? Tonight. Time. ASAP. Place. Tenniel Estate. Jervis Tetch. The Mad Hatter. And we're to be his guests of honor. We're invited to the Mad Hatter's tea party. Yes. And it's not polite to be late. Welcome, one and all. Welcome to the Mad Hatter's Tea Party. If you would be good enough to don the party hats, you'll find at your place settings, the fun will begin. What's wearing hats got to... I said put on the hats! Okay, okay, Mr. Hatter. Oh, that's better. Now it looks like a party. And as I have now refined the mind control transmitters inside your headgear to voice activation, it only remains to say hats induce trance. Can you hear me, basket cases? We hear you, Hatter. Perfect. Our first item of business is to be delegated to Film Freak. Are you in there, Film Freak? When you need me, just whistle, blue eyes. Yes, someone sprung us from Arkham on purpose, Film Freak. That's right, Toto. We're not in Kansas anymore. Someone wants to use us like puppets, stealing my shtick. Do you know how I know this? Oh, you know this, Kimosabe. A little bird told me. Actually, a great big bird, species of falcon, been following me around all day. Here, this is a homing tracker. The device I put on that thing's leg will give you its location. When you find out who the bird belongs to, kill! him, then we can get on with taking over the city. Okay, little britches. Saddle up and move out. Now, a spot of tea. Who'll be mother? I take mine without milk, Hatter. Got a diet soda? Why, it's our guest of honor. At last, we can start the party games. Hats stimulate adrenal cortexes. Robin, wait there is back up. Yeah, come, come on. Hey, we got trouble. There's some kind of homing device on Talon's leg. There's someone across the street casing this joint. Ah, it's one of the Arkham inmates. The one who calls himself Film Freak. You stay here while... <sighs> Kill him. Film Freak to Hara. Film Freak to Hara. Mm, come in, Hara. Batman! How long does the backup hold back? Till the outcome is... Clear. No, no, Batman! You won the battle, but lost the war! I'll take that gun, Hatter! Ah, 
Nice work. Now I'm cross. You've ruined the party. Film freak to Hatter, come in, please. This guy's got a walkie-talkie in his hat. Who busted you out of Arkham, Hatter? How should I know, Batman? Uh, Hatter, can you read me? It's Film Freak. I, I got company. It was Bane, wasn't it? Bane? It was Bane. <laughs> I'm Bane. No, get back. Mother of mercy, is this the end of Freako? Ah! You hear me, Hatter? Your assassin is dead. No. Just like the Batman, your garbage. Come on, Hatter. I've got bigger fish to fry. <laughs> you look pretty fried yourself, Batman. A whole madhouse yet to hunt down. Not to mention Bane. Who is it, Montoya? I'd say we've one less Arkham Asylum inmate to look for, Commissioner Gordon. This looks like the one they called Film Freak. Uh, no sign of an entry wound. No evidence a weapon was used, but surely nobody could have done this with their bare fists. What about this Bane guy? Wait a minute. Joker, Scarecrow, Firefly, Ventriloquist. I, mean, I, I got a potential perpetrator right here. Amygdala. Amygdala? 400 pounds of muscle. And three brain cells. And all of them wired up wrong. Uh, Sergeant Borlake got a call through for you. Reported sighting of Arkham SKP, the uh, ventriloquist entering a downtown bar, the tap room. He may be with another one. Amigdal... Uh, amid uh, amid Amygdala? Uh, yeah. There's a rumor Batman's car was seen heading that way. Bingo. Give me a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Shut it! What the heck is this? My name is Ventriloquist. This is my friend Sarko. Say hello to the nice people, Sarko. Hello, people. <laughs> Look out, people. We got a weirdo in the joint. He's got a sock on his head. <laughs> You're talking to yourself, pal. <laughs> We're looking for Scarface. Has anyone here seen him? Hey, mister, if this is a stick-up, you put the sock on your head, not on your head. <laughs> oh, no, no. Don't upset my friend, Sarko. <laughs> You're making a big mistake laughing at me. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> this is my friend, the Dick Dollar, and he's a very dick guy. You're laughing at my little friend. No. Nobody laughs at my little friend. ETA at tap room three minutes. I'd prefer to be acting more and reacting less, Robin, but there's no rhyme or reason to any of this chaos following the Arkham Asylum breakout. Are we being followed? So you spotted the bird. That's some kind of hawk, isn't it, Batman? A falcon. There was one circling in Tunnel Park earlier, before Bane killed Film Freak. Either that's two in one night, or... Good observation. You follow the bird, I will deal with Ventriloquist. Hey! Oh, the Ventriloquist! Can I have my sock back? Is it time for my medicine yet? This isn't working. We'll never find Scarface this way. Maybe it's time you found a new partner. How can you say that? I'm nothing without Scarface. You think so, old buddy? What do you mean? Did you hear that? What? Sounded like a car pulling up to me. All right, Ventriloquist. You didn't trash this place on your own. Behind you, dead man. Can't breathe. Bird, report. Talon led us right to them, Bane. Batman and the boy. Robin can't be far away. You ain't kidding, pal. He's right overhead. And at this very moment, Batman's getting the beating of his life in that bar down there. <laughs> Batman make Amygdala so angry! Want my medicine? Take pain away! Want my medicine now! I have your medicine right here. Oh, one down. But the ventriloquist got away. Maybe Robin had more luck. Batman's at the end of his rope. He hasn't even run up against the Major League crazies that we let out of Arkham. And already he's looking beat. We will let him run a little more of the gauntlet. I want to know his most extreme limits of endurance. This is not good. After all, this is the man who stands between me and Gotham City. Robin's Batman on closed channel. Are you reading me? Batman! Oh, God. I better get out of here. And I'm taking no chances. 
that he used an underground route back to the car. What is it, Bane? Did you hear something? Overhead. I can't see nothing. Uh, back to the Chuck Dixon show. Our guest is Dr. Simpson Flanders. He's here to try and make sense of this whole Arkham situation. Dr. Flanders, we got streets full of wackos with assault rifles, and you think you have a solution? Well, as I reveal in my book, I'm sane, and so are you. The mentally divergent should be made to feel at ease in our environment. Climate of mistrust can make them insecure in their choice of lifestyle. We've got a body count close to triple digits, Dr. Flanders. That's a lifestyle? This was a dumb idea. Boy wonder. Should have stayed put till Bane and his boys moved off. Above ground. Oh, it smells bad enough. But the sewer's like a labyrinth. And I have a big feeling I'm being followed. Robbie, your efforts at concealment were adequate to deceive my partners, but I am different. Bane! I am very curious about you. You ate the Batman, and yet you are just a boy. Yeah, uh, find myself hanging around the uh, weirdest people. At your age, I learned to kill. Why? Uh, I'm Bane, it's your turn! Kill a clock! Running to Batman on closed channel. Batman, if you can hear this, I'm in the city sewer. Bane and Killer Croc are duking it out down here, and I'm stuck in the middle. Batman, great. Whichever sicko wins this contest, I lose. Whoa, what's that noise? You pay for breaking my arms. You're in my world now, Bane. I will swim out of here, freak. You're will float to the East River! Uh, he's not kidding. It's high tide about now, and here it comes! Mr. Deadweiler? Uh, Mr. Deadweiler returning at all? Good evening, Mr. Deadweiler. Sorry to have had to break into your apartment like this, but... We need your help! Yeah, get that sock off your hand and we'll talk, ventriloquist. Holy, I, I thought Arkham Asylum was supposed to unscramble your brains. Tell him, Sarko. We want to know where Scarface got to. This is all about Scarface? That stupid puppet you call your boss? You're nuts. Why should I help you find anything? You'll do it because this gun is loaded and bullets make nasty holes, Deadweiler. Darned if you do, darned if you don't. That sock humor comes to us. Go away. Go stay at. Joe? To who? Joe? Curse. You. What do you want? <laughs> Come now, Scarecrow, old friend. This doesn't bode well for us being partners, does it? Partners? Maybe. Gotham City is running scared of its own shadow. I methought myself to team up with someone who knows a trick or two about fear and how to inspire it. We could carve up this town. You with your fear gas. Me with my charisma. We'll start by dealing with Commissioner Gordon. Gordon? Small potatoes. Let's deal with the organ grinder, not his monkey. Oh, 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 very good. Yes, 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 indeed. Oh, yes. Oh. You could have drowned. I don't want you confronting Bane again. Like that's on my wish list. <laughs> when the outflow washed me into the storm drain, I was only sorry to see him crawl out further down. Ow, Alfred, that's hot. Breathe the vapors, Master Tim. You'll be lucky to escape with pneumonia. Whatever his yearning for power, he's developed a darker purpose. Sure he has. To destroy you. And you're falling for it. There's no alternative. I cannot, will not, let the maniacs take over. But uh, how about drafting some help? Uh, Asriel, maybe? Jean-Paul is formed, maybe even up to the task. But Bane is after me. And as long as I am still standing, this is my business. The entire Arkham breakout's been mishandled from the beginning, Gordon. And if you don't do something about it in 24 hours, I'm asking the governor to break out the National Guard. Mayor Kroll, if you do that... All I have to do to make things happen is pick up the phone. And that includes trashing your career. 
Those of the customers present at the taproom bar during the frenzied attack by Arkham escapee Amygdala, who were even willing to talk, indicated that Gotham City's bad man was looking tired after he subdued the former asylum inmate. The plan is working. You sure, Bane? He still succeeded. He put another one back in Arkham. But the cost to him is high, both physical and mental. He is reeling, and soon he will be ready to fall. Exiting Ellsworth Plaza. Monitoring police frequencies. Racing from the grave. Already feel dead, but I can't rest. Not after the Arkham breakouts. Attention all units. Mr. Zed, serial killer. Recently escaped from uh, Arkham Asylum. Hold up in Bates School for Women. Hostages. Send tactical squads at once. No rest for the wicked, nor those who dare deal with them. Oh, Mr. Mayor! How did you get time? Smell! Horrible! Can't stop the nightmare! No! No, you're not real! Oh, yes, but we are real, Mr. Mayor. Very real. As your bodyguards downstairs got a test. Were they still capable of speech? No! This is wonderful, Scarecrow! The gas has reduced him to a gibbering wreck! What do you... Executive power, Mayor Crawl. You just have to pick up the phone. And we'll do the rest. Yeah! Please, let me go. Quiet. Uh, uh, consider the arm that chokes you. You see the marks? Self-inflicted, every one. All lovingly etched. Souvenirs to take everywhere. Of my every sin. My glory. And you are about to be honored with your own. Drop the gun, Jesh. You're under arrest. Montoya, no! Let her go or I shoot. Back up, now, on the second floor. You daren't shoot, pretty cop. My reflex would still cut her throat. Damn. Okay, take me then instead. There's the gun. Very good. Very trusting. Come here. <laughs> Ah, fool! I shall make an extra deep cut for you. Enough blood, Judge. Enough blood, Batman? There's never enough blood. <laughs> no! Oop, oop. Once a, a slip of the knife, and the pretty cop gets it! Batman, I tried bargaining with him. Exchange myself for the hostage. You did your best, Officer Montoya. Did your best? As if you were a cop? You're not... You're just like me, a stalker, a predator, and you love it, don't you, Batman? Here, sicko! Uh, you... Montoya! Go! You're just like me! We're both bound for hell! No, I'm not like you, killer. Not... All right, stop it! That's enough! I've got him, Batman! Enough! Enough? No, too much. Way too much. We now join the Link Rambo show already in progress. Let me get this straight, Dr. Flanders. You're saying it's our fault that these maniacs loose on the streets are tearing Gotham apart? Absolutely. As I state in my book, I'm sane and so are you. Our entire culture is aberrant. These people are merely the symptoms. Symptoms? Oh, ventriloquist, please! If I help you find your Scarface puppet, I'm an accomplice. A man of principle. Are you sure you're a lawyer? Oh, please come out from behind that sofa. These handcuffs are really cutting into my... Really? Oh, no. At least I could understand the sock. Oh, I'm still here, Counselor. The duck we picked up at a toy store on the way over. Jeez. I can't control him, Counselor. He's a wild duck. I'm not sure where he'd be. I, I, I guess he's still in the evidence store of the precinct where you, where the ventriloquist was arrested. But you'd need a policeman to get it released. And we have no problem. Don't understand. Where's the duck gone? Oh, no. A cop puppet. Yep. We found Officer O'Hara in the toy store along with the duck. Uh, they did. We bought you that. He did. I'm your man. That I am.
Time to make another phone call, me a crawl. Or would you prefer a fear game? Oh, absolutely, Scarecrow. We want to reach out and crush someone. Our plans call for utter chaos. Yes! Mayor Crow! What if you called the president of the Firefighters Union and told them you were thinking of cutting them? No, no! They'd strike for certain! Good, good! You see, I have an old cellmate who benefits greatly from that. His name is Garfield Linz. He used to work in the movies, an expert in pyrotechnics. Setting fire to things became a bit of an obsession to him. Excellent, the firefly! It's gonna be a hot time in old Gotham tonight! <laughs> St. Elmo's Pier, releasing drill brakes. Garfield Linz, the Firefly, loose in the city's oldest amusement park. Three acres of old wooden structures in the fire department on strike. At least you've included me in on this one. At least you'll have some help. You're not here to help, Robin. You're here to watch and learn. Mm -hmm. You're still in training. What? There he is. Firefly. Ah! <laughs> My flames! The beauty! Dance! Yes! Yes! Dance! <laughs> Incredible. How are we gonna get him down from the roller coaster track? Stay with the car. I don't like this. You don't have to. You barely escaped Killer Croc and that monster Bane. Your luck can't hold forever. And yours can. Stand back while I fire the grapnel up there. Batman, please! Welcome to my inferno, Batman! Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> Drop the flamethrower, Linz. Oh, no! I could never do that! Now that you're here... No way down from here, except with me, Firefly. Oh, I have my own escape route, thank you. Burn brightly now! Oh, keep smoldering. Batman! Catch! What? Grab the line! Slide down! This is quite a training session for me. I hate to see what you look like. Lost him. Lost the element of surprise. Lost the perpetrator. Could it be you're pushing too hard? I have to push hard. The police are at full stretch, and Gotham is going to hell at the hands of an army of maniacs led by Bane. So the best way to tackle this is to throw yourself after them? No time, no time. We have to react wherever they surface. But that's the exact opposite of everything you've taught me. All right. Firefly is yours, Robin. Do the footwork. Dig into the files back at the cave. Try and get a 20 on it. Doors open. <laughs> You got it, Batman. I'm going to talk to Gordon downtown, if there is a town left with Firefly running loose. Let's go. So, that's a letter G, E, and an... Got it. A T. Riddler, we're wasting our time here. There. Police headquarters, Gotham City, urgent. Well, if I say so myself, nobody can make an extortion note a work of art like I can. Is that the hold up? We gotta send these cops some damn clue to the heist after we go through the trouble of organizing getaway cars, building plans, you name it. Yeah, after we try to keep it a secret. Crime is an art. It shouldn't be all drudgery. It demands flair. Wit. Flair? Don't give yourself a headache, Stan. Here, tie this letter to a brick and throw it through police headquarters window. You'll enjoy it. Oh, okay. Several calls from Dr. Kim solving while you were out, Master Bruce. Chandra, and you told her? That you were far too busy exhausting yourself gallivanting about in a mask and boots to speak to her. Very funny. Is there anything to eat? I need some breakfast. You also need 16 hours sleep, a three-month vacation, a blood transfusion, and full psychiatric examination. Alfred? And uh, where is Master Tim this fine afternoon? At home, I hope. Using his computer skills to run down a little background for me. Email to Cape Computer. Urgent message to Batman from Robin. Security scramble code three. Tim, you in your room? Yes, Dad. Quick, quick, quick. Garfield Lenz, Firefly, adopted at birth. No living relatives. And, digging deep into this early stuff, before his career in pyrotechnics even began, because two places he's been fixated on since he was a kid, his adoptive parents refused for some reason to take him there. The first was St. Elmo's Pier. The second, Gotham City Zoo. Yep. Drat this wheelchair. Send. Here, Dad. Let me help. No, no. I gotta get used to this thing. Dr. Kinsolving said it'd become second nature, but I don't know. Maybe I should see a regular doctor after all. I thought you said she was good. You recommended her to Bruce. 
He seems to think highly of her. How is Bruce? I must pay a neighborly visit sometime. Although he's a busy man running around the society pages with all those bimbos, amazing his businesses stay afloat. Uh, he has people to handle a lot of that everyday stuff, I guess. Bane, do you read me? I read you, Bird. Tailed Batman to the city zoo. Somebody must have tipped him off about Firefly being here. Except the big guy's got trouble. He's in a fight with another Arkham escapee, and Firefly ain't even showed yet. Stay watching, Bird. I want a full report. Three years, Batman! Three years I have rotted in Arkham Asylum, planning your death! Just put the sword down, Cavalier, and nobody will get hurt. Hurt? Who are you, fool? I'm going to kill you! Ah! Riddler, oh. we planned this job to a T. Everything ready to go, everything in place. But do we make our move? No. We gotta wait till you send out your stupid riddle. Yeah, so we're pulling this job tonight. And if it has to be over your dead body, then that's how it's gonna be. Ah. Oh. You'll be sorry. You'll be sorry. It's my crime. Mine. <laughs> Just because the cops ignored the riddle, they were too busy to read it. But I'll take my puzzles to the masses. You'll see. Drop the sword, Cavalier. First blood to me. Ha ha! Defend yourself, Batman. You face an expert swordsman. Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! I have a good time. For this. Ha ha ha! You broke my nose, you can. A minor league maniac. <laughs> but I even had trouble with him. And I came here to take Firefly down. You're getting to be a pest, Batman. Speak of the devil. Fascinating to watch you deal with that idiot. But let me tell you a thing or two. I'm not one of those Arkham inmates who obsessed over you day and night. In fact, I'll get along quite nicely without your interference. So I've decided to cremate you. <laughs> Flamethrower's heat is overwhelming. It saps my last reserve of strength, but I'm not burning. This time I came prepared. You've spoiled enough of my fun, Batman! Fifteen layer Nomex and a rebreather don't give me the edge. Oh, but they they let me survive. Oh. <laughs> you know, Scarecrow, I like the mayor's residence. I may even move in here permanently. Of course, a few things will have to change. Every once in a while, the mayor would have to stop screaming. Shut! <laughs> Let me go, Joker! <laughs> a little more fear gas for the mayor, I think. Time for him to make another phone call. Absolutely! Now that we have the police department running around like headless chickens, it's time to lay our egg! So, Dr. Flanders, you say that these escapees are merely troubled children searching for meaning in their lives. Oh, yes, Cassie. As I stated in my new book, I'm sane and so are you. Wow! This guy's getting a lot of mileage from the Arkham breakout. Indeed, Master Tim. And he is... Some psychiatrist who thought he could cure everyone in the violent ward. A born optimist. Wait! That guy she's approaching in the audience. I see him. Riddler! And that's a detonator in his hand! You're driving the van. That show airs live. No, 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 please, not again, please. Phone calls to Mayor Crow and meet us here in the Mother Goose amusement park. The screaming's coming from the slot arcade, Bullock. Somebody's got him in there. Sounds like he's being tortured. It sounds like he's being murdered, Commissioner. Should I take a look? No. Send in the SWAT team. Yeah. Now. Pocket, go. Go, boy, and catch some me. I don't like this. The Riddler hijacks a TV studio back in central Gotham, and we're lured into a situation way out here in Evanstown. Montoya's covering the Riddler commission, but he ain't got the only game in town. Batman's out chasing Firefly. Who knows which nuts pulling this job? Yeah, Gordon speaking. Commissioner Gordon, SWAT team safely in yet. Oh, my God. Get those men out of there! Too late, sucker! <laughs> Your best phone call so far, Mayor Crawl. Oh. Happy Scarecrow. I love the simple ones, Joker. <laughs> Good, because the best is yet to come. <laughs> this TV 
TV show is going out live, right, Cassie? Uh, yes. Yes, Riddler. Yes, Riddler. Good. I want to get a large audience, but having me on the show rigged with this bomb should win tonight's battle of the ratings, don't you think? I'm, uh, reasonably certain. And your guest, Dr. Simpson Flanders, I've met before at Arkham Asylum. That's right, Eddie. <gasps> oh! And you've written a little book. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I'm sane and so are you. That's right, Eddie. Well, you couldn't have written it with me in mind. <laughs> Excuse me. Because I'm not sane and I never will be. Isn't that right, Doc? Uh, uh, and here's another one for the folks at home. What begins with a P and ends with an E and has thousands of letters in it. I cut to two. A camera three. Oh, loosen that shot on oh. Flanders. I Raise want to cut to you the moment he shows up. We're three minutes to network three, commercial, oh, Officer Montoya. Oh, but Riddler says if we cut a picture from the studio, he'll release that button and turn Cassie into wallpaper. Yeah, that's why we can't use a marksman. He releases his grip. Boom! Yeah. Just keep going till the hostage negotiation well. Camera five, pan wide and swing left. He... Oh, heck, I, I thought I saw that kid who's supposed to work with the Batman. The one they call Robin? Here in the TV studio? Yeah, a red top, black cape with a yellow lining. If Robin is here, where's Batman? Uh, Mad Hatter. Amygdala. Film Freak. Cavalier. And... Oh. Firefly. Mostly second stringers, and they nearly took me out. The really dangerous ones are still on the street. And beyond that, the one who planned all this. Who will stand between Gotham and Bane? Yes, Jim? Thank God. Batman, we're en route to Mayor Kroll's residence. Pretty sure Joker and the Scarecrow are holding him hostage, or worse. I'll be there. Any sign of Riddler? He made his move earlier. Hijacked a TV show. Montoya's on the scene. Thinks Robin's there. Robin? Up against Riddler alone. He's not ready. And I can't do a thing to help him. Come on! Who's going to solve my riddle? A whole TV studio audience and none of you can take a guess? It begins with a P. It ends with an E. It's got thousands of letters in it. I should have picked another show to debut my crime on. Maybe Enrico Rivoli or... Post office. It's got thousands of letters. Robin? Oh, that does it. I'm releasing the button. You're all just... Oh, 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 what is this stuff? Oh, get it off my hand! Just a little fast-acting epoxy to keep that hand from relaxing, Riddler. Oh. You didn't want to bomb in the ratings, right? Yeah? Well, the gag's on you, kid! <laughs> this bomb's just a set of chair rails wrapped in electric tape! What? Oh, did I waste your time? Had to duck out of a hot date tonight! Thanks, Robin. <laughs> I got him covered now. Keep your hands in the air, Riddler. Oh, oh, Come on, oh, oh, this way. Hands off of me. Was this all a wild goose chase? Did I screw up? Batman's somewhere out there facing real danger. And I'm the victim of a classroom prank. Commissioner Gordon, we got a problem. I'd say so, O'Neill. The Joker and Scarecrow are holding the mayor hostage in his own mansion, unless you have a worse problem. But they're not in there anymore. The bomb squad think the place is booby-trapped and say it'll take an hour to get in. Where's Bullock? That's the other problem. Sergeant Bullock told the bomb squad to shove it, and he was going in anyway. Oh, my God. There he is, by the side entrance. Bullock! Okay, Commish. Still wouldn't be open if the place was rigged, right? Wrong. <laughs> Hold tight, Bullock. Battle! <laughs> Could have waited. There might have been clues. Are you two all right? I'm alive. Thanks to the Batman. Commissioner, I got a report in of an explosion at the harborside toll booth of the Gotham River Tunnel. Uh, should I send the... Uh... Damn phone. Commissioner Gordon speaking. Gordon, help me. Joker and Scarecrow don't know I'm making this call. They've got a rocket launcher. We're at the river tunnel entrance. They just took out the... Very nicely done, Mayor Crow. Very convincing. You make the perfect bait. What bait? I thought this was a diversion. A diversion, Scarecrow? No, 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 no. We're going to kill the Batman. No way. When we combine forces, we agree to destroy the whole city, not just one man. But the city, you straw-stuffed simpleton, is Batman. He'll be on his way now, expecting a trap. And we, with Mayor Kroll, of course, will spring it. A trap? Using the river tunnel? Look at the cars in there. Of course. Hand me the rocket launcher, if you please, Mayor Kroll. Never. Fear gas, please. Go, bro. Oh, <laughs> here you go. Thank you. <laughs> this is the Joker's recipe for reducing air pollution in Gotham City. To rid the east side of noisy, smelly traffic, simply take one heat-seeking projectile, close the eyes, pull the trigger, and hottest engine wins! <laughs> this tunnel.
tunnel gives me the creeps. Looks like the mouth of hell itself. The power's out, Montoya, that's all. But it could be another booby trap, Commission. I'm aware of that, Sergeant Bullock. But if Mayor Kroll is really in there, I'll find him. And I'll bring him out. Batman! You know it's a trap. Of course it is. Wait here. Traffic is now backed up for six miles on the bay side of the tunnel as police try to determine the cause of the multiple explosions. The far end of the tunnel is sealed off by a special squad led by Police Commissioner James Gordon. Fresh rumors of Batman's presence at the cordoned off end of the tunnel are still unsubstantiated. Not bad, huh, Payne? Joker and the Scarecrow do combine well for chaos. With more discipline, they might have taken the city, but I reserve that right for myself. You figure the Batman will stop them? He had better, because once he gets through that tunnel, he runs out. Our gauntlet. Nearly a mile into the tunnel, and a blackness so intense even my night lenses can't make out an image. And yet I know, I can feel that I am being watched. <laughs> Is it so long since I last heard the laughter? Hello, Batman. Eat me again. <laughs> Oh, Mom, give him the pearls. Mom, no, no, got to be strong. This is the fear gas. But is the figure before me real? Let's see. You're real? Now, now, Batman. <laughs> timber, timber. Joker. Oh. Oh. Scarecrow, the fear gas only made him mad. In that case, let's blast him to Guano. Stop the rocket launcher. This tunnel's under the river. You'll drown us all. The roof collapses as tons of river water flood the tunnel. And I have a choice to seize the Joker or grab Mayor Kroll. But what choice do I really have? Joker's probably giggling himself sick right now. Maybe he'll laugh himself to death. But I must get air. Uh, oh. Mayor Kroll, are you okay? I'll get you out of here. Excuse us, my lad. I have some property you'll be holding here at the evidence store. Uh, uh, oh. <coughs> Uh, you got a claim number and a court date. That I do, me boy, oh. <clears throat> hey, where are you? Will you can the stupid brogue and walk into the light? Sure, I can do just that. Oh, my God. A puppet cop and... Ventral! <laughs> <laughs> goodbye, Sergeant. And goodbye, Ventriloquist. Goodbye, O'Hara. And hello, Scarface. Hey, where the hell are you been, bum? All these months, I'm rotten gathering dust in some stinking police pound. I'm sorry, Scarface. It won't happen again. You better won't, pal. Not with Scarface back taking care of business. Damn it! Were we wrong? River cops are circling the area around the blast, Commissioner. What's the point, Montoya? If his honor was down in that tunnel when it blew, he's retired from office. Permanent. Bullock! Now, who thought they saw a body floating toward this bank? Oh. Commissioner, over here! There's Mayor Kroll! I'll send for the paramedics. Your Honor, how did you escape the tunnel? We almost gave you up. Uh, he never gave up. The Batman? Grabbed me in his cape. It, it formed an air pocket. <coughs> well, he swam to an emergency hatchway. It was jammed, but he opened it somehow. His lungs must have been bursting. He, he never gave up. Where is he now? Does he need help? He must, but he staggered away. I heard his car start up. Guess he's gone home to rest. God knows he needs it. Don't remember getting to the car. Recall the ride home only in snatches. The cave. Home. Can't wear this costume in the house. Promised Alfred. But where is Alfred? Oh, concentrate. Nearly at the bat cave access door. The clock hands set at the precise hour my parents were murdered. And it's unlocked. Strange. Not like Alfred, too. <laughs> Alfred? I left him alive, Mr. Bruce Wayne. It is not your underlings I want, Batman. Bane! In Wayne Manor! It is you! 
and you will scream my name. Wayne, here in Wayne Manor, you you know who I am. My senses are quickened in ways which give me insights denied to other men. Insights which ensure my survival, for no disguise can hide my enemies from me. This Bruce Wayne is nothing but a mask, which no longer serves your purposes, Batman. What has all this been about? Freeing the inmates from Arkham. Watching me wear myself down trying to recapture them. I was a child in a jail filled with the dregs of the earth. But a vision sustained me that I would survive those days of terror, those nights of fitful dark dreams, when dark winged creatures would torment me. And that one day, I would rule a great city the way I ruled that jail, by defeating the dark winged creature that haunted my tortured nights. You would kill just... I would kill for anything. I would kill to silence a grating voice, to darken the light in eyes that dared look at me. Yours is a madness. I cannot allow to run free. You must be brought down, whatever the cost. You will pay dearly. Yeah. Oh. oh, rib gone. Master Bruce. Oh, Alfred, save yourself. Run. Ah! Oh. 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 I'm child's play for this monster. Burned out from a thousand desperate fights. Racing for death my whole life. A life begotten in death. The pearls, lady. Hand them over. Hey, don't you touch my wife, you... Father, no, wait! Thomas! Fighting till death down in the cave, and Master Bruce is completely spent. Let's get help. Next door. Fetch Timothy before it's too late. Warning. Seismic anomaly detected in that cave. This is over. You are nothing. Robin, beg for mercy. Scream my name. Go. Go to hell. You want death? I deny it to you! Instead, I will raise you up! And I will break you! Broken and done. What the heck is going on, Commissioner? The phone call said, go to Robinson Square. Looks like everybody got invited. You think somebody glimpsed the Batman and word got out? You're on the right track, Bullock, in the worst possible way. Look, up on the roof of Kane's Art Museum. Oh my God, that huge guy's holding Batman's body over his head. Like a broken doll. People of the city, you will listen. I am pain. You are mine. Batman is no more. It's falling into place, Harvey. The Arkham breakout, the disappearance of Gotham's key mobsters. This guy, Bane, was behind the whole thing. Bane's lifting Batman's body up again. Is he still alive? Here is your hero. Here is your protector. Take him and bury him. Oh, we'll certainly kill him. Look, the canopy over Hannah's deli broke his fall. Come on, Kamish. Okay, people. Good work, Montoya. Thanks, Harv. Batman. It's Jim Gordon. Well, I... I called. Now, yeah, big guy. As a black man... We have the EMT back. units on the way. Can you hear me? I'll be... Fine. Uh, clear back, please. Uh, paramedics coming through. I see two more. Uh, Alf, uh, Alfredo, the backboard. Hurry. Gangway people coming through here. You guys got here in a hurry? Yeah, we was in the neighborhood. He's breathing shallow. And has a quick, weak pulse. Skin's ice cold. I didn't try to move him. Here, keep him straight. Yeah, got him. Slide it straight into the van. Look, I can ride along in the unit to help you get to the hospital in a hurry. It's okay, Commissioner. We're uh, only a few blocks from Mercy General. Montoya? Yes, Commissioner. Did those 
paramedics say they were taking Batman to Mercy General? They did, sir. Why? Because the paramedics from Mercy General have only just arrived. Well, that's impossible. I saw those other guys' ID. This is getting worse by the minute. Well, not necessarily, Commissioner. Those guys could have been some of Batman's own people. They... Huh? Oh. Hurry up, Jean Paul. I'm doing 60 in a school zone. How is he, Alfred? He's in shock. He's lost a great deal of blood. There are certainly internal injuries and. And? I think. I think his back may be. Oh my god! And nothing is known about the whereabouts of the allegedly injured Batman or his assailant, the masked strongman calling himself Bane. Isn't it ironic, Scarecrow? A legion of Batty's baddest foes has tried to bring him down, and some new rookie comes along and trashes him! Hilarious, Joker. Particularly after the beating Batman gave us, followed by nearly drowning in that damn tunnel. We didn't even get to kill the mayor. I haven't even got any ransom money to continue my fear gas experiments. Fear gas? You might as well have squirted air freshener in Batsy's face for all the good it did us. I've had enough of your insults, Joker. Oh, stop. You're terrifying me. And I have a new fear gas mixture I need a guinea pig for. Uh, 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 What other flavors have you got? Eh? I don't understand. Then let me explain with this chair! Loser! Charlatan! Our partnership is over! Good luck, Scarecrow. They're bound to rebuild Arkham Asylum. Maybe next time you'll get a straw mattress to go with your head! <laughs> That's half an hour. Okay, ventriloquist, what's with this taco character? You're all pal Scarface and I've you in a couple of months, and you got to replace me with a piece of underwear. Now, now, Scarface, Taco has been very helpful in finding you. Damn right I have. Who you calling underwear? You, you moth-eating piece of dry lid. The name is Sucko. Should be Stinko. You should change your partners more often, ventriloquist. Boys, boys. Oh, Socko, not the gun. Pull a heater on me, would you? Well, I got one, too. Boys, boys, no! You idiot! Who are you calling a nisk? We shot ourselves. <sighs> How is he, Alfred? Stable, Jean-Paul. His pulse is getting steadier and stronger, although I may have to aerate his left lung again. Shouldn't we get him to a proper hospital? He could die. We've been here before, he and I. I ought to put in an appearance at home. My dad's going to be worrying about me. But if there's anything... Go home, do... Tim. I'll call you if there's a change. Okay. Back later. So Bruce is out of danger? Not quite, John Paul. I didn't tell the boy everything about Bruce's condition. The fever won't go down unless I stop the swelling on the spinal tissue. And even if Batman does awaken, he'll be paralyzed for life. as if the dark night still edge downfall where a green light for chaos, violence is erupting citywide for the fourth weekend in succession. This is Alan Grant reporting for Good Morning Gotham. You are head of Gotham Three Families. You know who I am. Uh, the guy who broke the Batman. I am Bane, and I am the new owner of Gotham. Any arguments? No, no, I'll work with you. You'll work for me, won't he, Bird? He'll lead us to every gang in Gotham City, Bane. Won't you, pal? No. Yes, yes, there's plenty for everybody here. You can be in on it. In on it. I will have it all. Sleeping peacefully or not, Alfred, this man has suffered a severe spinal trauma. He belongs in a special hospital. I'm afraid that's impossible, Dr. Kinsolving. Mr. Wayne, as you know, is the CEO of an extremely prominent business. Where his injury made public, it would be perceived as a weakness, and his affairs could well suffer. A fractured spine is far more than a perceived weakness, Alfred. Without hospital facilities, it is Mr. Wayne who will suffer a great deal. Dr. Kinsolving, I'm not arguing with you, just attempting to show you. I have had the gymnasium adjoining Master Bruce's bedroom re-equipped. You tell me this man has broken his back in a car smash and you re-equipped his gymnasium? Let me show you. Oh, my. X-ray? 
hydrotherapy, even a body scanner. Mr. Wayne is a considerably wealthy man, and he would want his doctor to have every means necessary to help him recover, no matter how long it takes. In a case like this, Alfred, you could be talking the rest of this man's life. James? Oh, I knew I'd find you up here. Will you try the bat signal again? This must look foolish, Sarah, considering the way he looked. He's your friend, and you're worried about him. Friend? And I call him that when I don't know a damn thing about him? You know the important things, James. Mm. I'll be down in a moment. Hold the fort for me. As always, Commissioner. Mm. Just a word. Just a sign. That's all I ask. Listen to it, Bard. It is music. It is my creation. Bat signal still shining over police headquarters, Bane. It's the fourth week since you took him down. Don't they realize he's finished? Still, they cry out for him. The hero, the savior. But I broke him, and Gotham is mine. Pulse normal. Respiration good. And at long last, you're getting the sleep you need. Now that I'm your personal physician, Bruce Wayne, the only worry I have about you apart from your spinal injury that you haven't said a word since the car accident. If it was a car accident. Car? Bruce, you awake? Dr. Kinsolving, Chandra, I've been awake for days. Didn't feel like opening my eyes, that's all. Why didn't you say something before? Couldn't think of anything worth saying. Where's Alfred? In the kitchen cooking supper. You've got visitors, too. Your neighbor, Jack Drake's son, Tim, and a blonde man, Jean-Paul. They've been here most evenings taking turns to watch over you. Well, that's who it was. I only really remember when you were here, Chandra. Other than the pain, it's the first time in too long that I've felt anything. Not that the injuries stack up against the loss I've suffered. It's natural you should feel some depression, Bruce. But I hope you're not talking about a mere car. Car? You mentioned a car before. Um, the Porsche, sir. You, you were in shock when I found you by the roadside, remember? With little or no memory of the accident. Yes. Yes, of course. Bruce, I promised to visit next door with Tim's father before I drove home. I'll be back to check you later. Jack Drake. His was a back injury, wasn't it? Hmm, very similar to yours. And he's doing pretty well in that wheelchair. You'll be mobile before you know it. A wheelchair. Master Bruce, I am very relieved to see you awake at last. I sent Master Timothy and Jean-Paul Valley out to the East Cliffs with a Porsche and a pair of sledgehammers. The result was very convincing. We will say you were thrown from the car and fell on the rocks. Bruce? Dr. Kinsolving told me you're awake. How are you feeling? Oh, Tim, what's happening in Gotham City? Nothing to concern yourself with now, sir. That bad? Worse. The city's going to hell with that Batman. You were thinking someone should fill in, and I agree. Should I go to Nightwing? He was your first partner. He knows Gotham. No, no, Dick Grayson is his own man now. With his own responsibilities. Yeah. Then I... I can only think of one other person. Yes, he's the only choice, but... Uh, I want it made absolutely clear that under no circumstances does he confront Bane. Now, I look around this table... I see the 20 surviving Gotham City interests represented in here. Now, whoever called this powwow, make your case now, or I walk and the members of the Gothinko Syndicate walk with me. Is this a business meeting or what? It is a business meeting, Mr. Kochman. Holy thing. For those who have yet to make my acquaintance, I am Bane. I broke the Batman, and Gotham City belongs to me. The purpose of this meeting is to give you instructions as to how you will pay me 50% of your weekly gross income as from today. What are you doing? Hey, 50% Hey, pal. Uh, Bane, this is not how we operate. <laughs> this is how I operate, Mr. Coachman. And when I'm very annoyed, I pump myself with a little venom. <laughs> and I punish the transgressor. <laughs> to continue, gentlemen, this is how you will make the payments. Robin. Jean-Paul, it's time to talk. I thought it might be. Bruce can't be Batman anymore. Not with a broken back. So I need help. The whole city needs help, Robin. And I'm ready. Azrael is ready. Bruce doesn't want Azrael. Here. Oh, by Saint Dumas. He chose you. 
to wear the mantle of the bat. His costume? One of them fitted for you. But why do I dress as Batman? I am Azrael. I have a uniform. You don't understand Gotham City. The madness out there is rooted in this town's psyche. And so is the bat. You think I can be as good as him? No one's as good as him. You're wrong. I'll be better. Big words. Just don't try him out on Bane. That's quite a wheelchair, Bruce. If I'm going to spend real time sitting, I want a state-of-the-art cushion. Wait a minute. I just might have you up and about someday. It depends on trust. Your trust in my healing skills, and mine in your honesty. Honesty? That was no car accident that broke your back. The injuries just didn't add up. You're hiding something from me, but that's okay. I can wait. You're sure swinging a wire like that, man, John Paul. And you're the right bill. When we land on the police department roof, just stay in the shadows and try to keep your voice like Bruce's. I can do it, Robin. And there's the commissioner now. Commissioner? What? My God, it's, it's you? Batman? You're all right? Not quite what I was, Commissioner, but I'll get there. Your voice sounds different. A lot has changed, Commissioner, but there is one constant. Bane has got hell itself to pay. Gotta hand it to you, Bane. First you take down the Batman, then you're getting 50 cents on a dollar from every crooked operation in Gotham. And next, the unions. Tough Tony Bressy wants a word, Bane. I told him to make it fast. Hey! We got problems. You will if your payments are not kept up, Mr. Bressy. Hear me out. We pay you what we pay you because you told us you broke the Batman. That he wouldn't be interfering in our business interests no more. I beat him to within an inch of his life. He is crippled and helpless. So how come he's back on the streets? How come he and that boy Wonderkid roasted my guys while they was heisting the mail last night? Impossible. He is broken. Broken and defeated. Everything's the same. And everything's different. Batman and Robin in a tight spot. Outnumbered at... Surrounded by hoods we caught in the middle of a break. Except the guy in the cape and cowl isn't Bruce Wayne. Filth. Slime. Stay Batman. I'll hurt you, man. Hurt me. You hand over that axe and you hand it over now. Unless you want to spend the rest of your life on a respirator. The way Batman does it. Lay off! Let me go, Robin. He chose me to take his place. It's more than a costume, pal. You're going way off the top here. Maybe that's what it takes. Whatever it takes, the end justifies the means. We have a city to get back, and I've got to work out a way to do it. Master Bruce, how very good to see you downstairs. The service elevator is perfect for that wheelchair. Dr. Kinsolving will be impressed. He's worked wonders, Alfred. The scars of what has happened run deep, but... But I feel like something warm is happening in my life. It'll be that glass of hot milk, I expect. Seriously, Alfred. She told me to trust her if I wanted her to help me. And I want to be able to. Maybe I should share myself with her. Drop the mystery. Ah. All well and good, sir, as long as we're speaking hypothetically, sir. She's next door, visiting with Jack Drake. Maybe I'll take a turn around there in this thing. He can give me a few tips and wheelchair techniques. Ah, I'll come too. Don't worry, Alfred. I won't do anything hasty. Well, Jack, I'd say you made some real progress. More mobility in your left arm, more feeling in your legs. You know, I'm telling Bruce Wayne you're a model of rapid recovery. Terrible thing, that car crash. Is he finding it as impossible as I am? It's not impossible, Jack. That's the basis of my entire practice. The gap between conventional medicine and the human will. I thought you said Tim was out tonight. He is. Good Lord! Praise! Do exactly as we say and no one gets hurt. That's it in a nutshell, gentlemen. As it is, we're handing over 50 cents on the dollar to this pain for every street transaction. Tony oh, Bressy's to pretty sold out on Bane, Paul. I'm not so sure, Robin. He sounds more scared to me. I think Bane has gotten to Tough Tony, and I think Tough Tony will lead me to Bane. Paul, no! Bruce said you must... Bruce made me, Batman. That means I have to call it as I see it. You hear him out. That's all I say. What, sir? Tony Bressy! Batman? Where's they? Batman! The monsters are getting away. Where is he? I can't tell you. He's got my kids. He's got my kids. There's no need for this. You be quiet. My kids! Your kids will be fine. First, I want Bane. Who are you people? Why the 
guns and masks. Get in the van, Dr. Keir Solving, or we shoot the geek in the wheelchair. Run, Chandra, don't worry about me. Yeah. Chandra, what's going on? Bruce, no! The arms! Another wheelchair. Shoot that one, Taz. No witnesses. No. You don't want him. You want him. Oh. Chandra, you picked a dumb time to come calling, Cribble. I'll take the gun, friend. Oh. You should never oh. underestimate the disabled. Come on, Taz, let's go! Oh, you ain't so tough when I knock you out of that chair! Come on, Taz, move it! Yeah, sure! As soon as I kill this geek! Oh! What's time, bud? Bressy's late, Trog. Maybe Bane was wrong to hand them kids back like that. Bressy's played ball all along, my friends. He's too frightened. Oh! Batman! Bane was supposed to be here tonight. I want him! You're not real! He broke you! He will pay for his transgressions and for eluding me tonight. Cops are on their way, Batman. We'll be out on bail before sun up. Not before you tell me what you know. We have a few minutes before the units arrive. Oh! Oh. Sir, are you certain you're up to this? Chandra and Tim's father have been abducted, Alfred. And I'd be dead now if the kidnappers hadn't been in such a hurry to leave. If only I wasn't stuck in this chair. There's work to be done. You say you memorized the rental plate on their van, sir? Let's key it in. You know, I don't feel right here in the cave anymore. It belongs to Jean-Paul. He's the Batman now. He's certainly become as elusive as you used to be, sir. Just so long as he steers clear of Bane. Now, let's see what we know about these kidnappers. British accents. One named Taz. And according to this, a dummy company the van was rented by gave an address in London. London? A trip to the United Kingdom should make a very pleasant change. Bane, I swear it was the Batman. He would have beaten a census if the cops hadn't showed. The Batman, it is not him. I broke the Batman. It is an imposter you were taken by. Nothing but a costume. Uh, phony or not, he sure hit hard. He will regret what he has done. <laughs> to the pleasure of crushing this bat imposter. Jean-Paul, is Bruce still around? Or Alfred? They left a message, Tim. Didn't you see it? Of course I saw it. My dad's been kidnapped and Dr. Kinsolvin, and they just left. Why didn't Bruce take me with him? Maybe he couldn't find you. I've been out all night looking for you. We were supposed to meet for the regular patrol. Word on the street said you were too busy rousting out Bane's gang. Look, another time. Hey, my dad's been abducted, and you're directly violating Bruce's orders. I'm Batman now, and I'm busy. What are these little bat-shaped things? Ah, sharp. They're called shurikens. Mm. Bruce wouldn't have been defeated if he'd given himself an edge. So I've redesigned the uniform. Mm. These are for the new gauntlets. 50 in each magazine. Accurate to 25 yards. Tougher Batman for a tougher Gotham. Tougher or meaner? Paul, where'd you get the idea of firing two-inch razor blades at people? I... I don't know. But if you don't like it, you can walk. Is it you? Are you the Batman from Gotham City? You got my message, Hood. I wasn't aware I was known outside England. I've been following your exploits. You call yourself Hood after a certain English hero who robbed the rich to feed the poor. I'm flattered. Now, what brings the Batman to London if you are the Batman? I need help. I'll pay for it. I don't take money. This envelope contains the name of a ship carrying a half ton of cocaine from Gotham City. Its date of arrival at Tilbury Dock and the names of three principal suspects. Mm, this could be a setup. You could be anybody in that costume. Care to test me? If this information checks out, that won't be necessary. What do you want? I need the location of a kidnapper, a certain Benedict Asp, who arrived yesterday on the noon flight from Gotham. All the information I've uncovered so far suggests he's on a file held by your secret service, MI5. A challenge, but not an impossible one. Meet me back here in 24 hours. Oh, Has oh. he gone? Oh, untie me from this post, Alfred. Your back's in no fit state to support your weight, sir. Oh. I must protest and virtually challenging him to a fight. If that's what it takes to find Chandra and Robin's father, it's worth it. Commissioner Gordon. Batman! You've been very active the last few nights. My detectives have been cleaning up after you. Did you learn anything from Bane's stooges? They were hardly in the interrogation room before their lawyers slid them out again. My God! 
Something wrong, Commissioner? You're still here. So? I usually turn and you're gone. I wasn't certain we had finished talking. That never stopped you before. Then I'll be going. I have to find Bane on my own, unless he comes looking for me. Stranger and stranger. Yuri, strike Mr. Drake. <laughs> oh! Baby, uh. stop it! Then do as we ask you, Chandra. Help us with our experiments, and I'll leave Mr. Drake to his miserable existence. Very unfortunate for him, we had to recruit you while you were visiting him. Recruit? You've kidnapped us and shuttled us halfway across the world. The only thing I'll ever do for you is to testify against you at your trial. Dr. Dean Salving has spirit, Mr. Ass. Chandra never really developed a love of her abilities, as I did. She channeled them into conventional medicine. We're fortunate one of her patients is here with her, for Mr. Drake will change her mind. Yuri? Yeah. Oh, you brute! He's sick! You can't do this! Chandra, buying Monkley Hall not only made me lord of the manor, it provided us with this soundproof vault. An ideal location for the demonstration Colonel Vega and I are planning. Ex-Colonel, Mr. Ice. Glasnost and Perestroika were enemies of my career. Yuri, continue beating Mr. Drake until the good doctor changes her mind. Oh, all right! All right, stop it! Whatever it is you want me to do, I'll do it. My dear Chandra, we want you to kill. I used to be able to do uh, a thousand one-arm push-ups at a go, Alfred. Now a single leg lift is uh, torture. It's a tribute to Dr. Kinsolving's healing power that you can feel your legs, let alone lift them, Master Bruce. These files you had Hood obtain from MI5 are certainly very revealing on that subject. And about her connection with her abductor, Benedict Asp. I felt as if I'd known Chandra for years. Turns out I didn't know her at all. It was logical to assume Mr. Drake was the kidnapped target, that Dr. Kinsolving only went along to be with her patient. You couldn't have guessed that she grew up with Benedict Asp? That they shared a talent for healing? Yeah, but Chandra put her abilities to good use. I'm not so sure about Asp. According to this Secret Service memorandum, Asp was mixed up with Russian intelligence. In fact, he spent a year in Moscow as a freelance psionic consultant. Honestly, that's what it says here. I used to know a man who went downtown most nights dressed up as a bat. Mm. Anyway, the most recent note in this file says he's back here in England, recently bought himself a medieval manor, and its title, Monkley Hall. I saw that name this morning. Here in the paper, diary section. Ah, annual hunt ball tomorrow night at Monkley Hall. New owner, Benedict Asp, has graciously consented. How very useful. So quiet in this house with Mr. Drake gone and everything, young Tim. Yeah, it is, Mrs. McIlvain. Well, that's your dinner. You'll be all right with me off to the movies for the evening? Mm, sure. Oh, is uh, Bruce called all today? I was hoping to hear from him. No, not a word for Mr. Wayne. Oh, why don't you go next door and see if he's at home? Oh, it's okay. Have fun. Dad and Dr. Kinsolvin gone under mysterious circumstances. Bruce and Alfred looking for him. And the bat signal shining over the city for some other Batman who's made it pretty clear Robin's not welcome as his partner. Well, that's tough. He didn't give me the job. Who the... Carter? We've got problems, Asp. Your file was stolen from HQ last night. Any strangers sniffing about here today? No. I had a call from some Hooray Henry, whose father used to own this place, wants to come to the Hunt Ball tomorrow night. Hunt Ball? Are you insane? Tomorrow night's the demonstration. The Hunt Ball is the demonstration, Carter. Your people are paying me to prove that psi amplification works. I've gone to great lengths to ensure it will work with deadly efficiency. Come on, Murray, snap it up with the stuff, will ya? I told you this stuff was good. Uh, take a look at this. Wait, who's that? Filth, you will repent. Oh, my God! You, you're the Batman? Boy, you're nothing like I heard! You will tell me what you know of Bane and his whereabouts. Bane? I don't know nothing! Holy shit! You will tell me, or I will hurt you. Step right down, Miss Cobb. You're about to play Box of Mystery! Folks at home, here's tonight's mystery word. Okay, folks, the word Ms. Conlon says in the next 20 seconds mm. she is to keep her platinum oven mitt is anti disestablishmentarianism Mrs. Mac? Great. I thought she'd never drop off. Not that it matters if she sees me go down into her cellar, but this is my secret access tunnel to the bat cave, and if I squeeze through this aperture, it's only 300 yards scrambled from Bruce's computer. 
and Paul doesn't seem to use them so much, but... Wow! He sealed up my entrance to the Batcave with bricks. I don't feel well. I don't want to do it again. It's only a few hours till our big demonstration, Chandra. But this equipment, what is Vega doing? I am analyzing the polarity of the psychic energy you and Mr. As were projecting to heal Yuri's wound, Dr. Kin solving. This is why Yuri must cut himself again. But settings are critical. The knife, Yuri. Yeah. Excellent. The life sucked out of you. Death at the distance. Silent and unstoppable. Whoever wields it can kill at will and never be detected. And it is ours. A cage full of rats will serve for now. But tonight, tonight we demonstrate for our sponsors on a village full of people. <laughs> a beautiful summer's evening in Monkley. What a shame to spend it indoors at a function attended by the horse and hound set. How do I look, Alfred? If the great moustache doesn't come unglued, and you can keep that monocle screwed in, Master Bruce, I might just be fooled that you were a scion of the aristocracy, returned from living abroad. How are you going to explain the walking sticks? I was charged by a mad rhino on my last safari. Welcome to Monkley. You are... Gray, Sir Hemingford Gray. My family used to own this stately heap until Pater had a brainstorm and took us all off to Mombasa. Ah, yes, you rang. I'm Benedict Asp. And this is... My chauffeur, Pennyworth. We're here for the hunt ball, don't you know? Uh, it's a lively occasion. Do come in. Master Bruce, did you hear that? Yes, I did. And if it was Chandra, there will be hell to pay. Imposter! Where are you? Show yourself! I want the one who claims to be the bad man! Now! City that you are not the Batman! Gotham is mine! I'm the only Batman you need to worry about, Bane! Oh, it's a big showdown at last! The return bouts! What the hell happened to the Batman, Montoya? Look at that outfit! It's more like a suit of armor! Sharpshooter's on place, Commissioner! We could drop Bane right now! Ah, uh, let's be sure they can't hit the Batman first! Wait a second! I thought they were up there! Where did they go? In Uh, you are not Batman! Gotham is mine! Then prepare to be relieved of it! Uh, you have run out of toys, Pretender! You have run out of time! The bat has claws! You think you have cut my throat? No, your life lies. You've been on venom too long, Bane. Huh? Time to kick the habit. Cold turkey, so it's not the beef pipe. I can still defeat you. You're finished. I already won. I already broke the Batman. Not this Batman. Venom, just the dog. Stop with the pain. No. Venom! Marksman's got a clean headshot on Bane, Commissioner. No, wait! Kill me! Transgressor! Betrayer! Defiler! I shall punish! Batman! No! He is broken. Blackgate Prison can hold the pieces. Yes. You see, Robin? I can't resist the system. Hey, look, I still don't like the way you do things, but you have earned the right to a costume, new or old. And I guess you are the Batman. 
Thanks, kid. Well, out there, it looks like the whole village has turned up for the hunt ball. Why did this Benedict Asp fellow allow these people to hold the event in his own home? Especially if he's holding two hostages in here somewhere. That was definitely a scream I heard earlier. Oh, 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 I'm terribly sorry. It's perfectly all right. And it could have been Chandra Consolvi. If it was, we may find Tim's father, too. Gentlemen, Colonel Vega and I are very grateful your respective security services were able to spare you for our demonstration of psionic power this evening. Dr. Kinsolving has now decided she will, after all, take part after some persuasion. You leave Jack Trick alone, Benedict. He, he's taken enough pain. Quiet, Chandra. Now, gentlemen, Dr. Kinsolving and I share a rare talent, an ability to focus and magnify our natural psychic powers. We were trained from an early age to exercise this ability. Colonel Vega? Research I conducted in the KGB, as was, revealed that such powers can be stored, magnified, even reversed. What? The equipment Dr. Vega is operating repolarizes and focuses Dr. Kinsolving's natural healing powers through this psionic helmet. If you'll watch the video monitor showing the festivities upstairs, I will put the helmet on and direct its output toward the ballroom. Let's get away from the ballroom. We'll split up. If you try upstairs, I'll look in the basement. If anyone discovers you... Sir! The hunt ball! It's all gone deathly quiet! Something's wrong in there. Good God in heaven! Everybody's dead. I killed them! I just fought it, and I've killed them all! Be quiet, damn you! Don't you realize what a triumph it is? Sandra, Sandra, what's happened? Asp, you killed all these people. How, damn you? Oh, grief, it's the idiot with a monocle. Finish them off, Yuri. I'll get her out of here. <laughs> Sir, I beg you, don't try and fight him. Sandra, it's me, it's me. No, no, I don't know you. Look out! Berkowitz. It's Danny. Yeah, Danny. He wants points. He wants what? Points. He wants points. Crocky the crocodile. Replace him. But There's got to be a hundred slobs we can stick in a rubber alligator costume. Yeah, but... Just stick some jerk in the suit and throw him in front of the camera. It... Mr. Berkowitz, call on line four. Uh, lose some Lorraine. Please, Calvin. It's the tenth time he's called in the last half hour. Yes. Mr. Calvin Berkowitz, yeah. I have a movie idea for uh, you. Just make the pitch, huh? One word or less. It's the life story of a master criminal. I'm yawning, pal. I need something with an angle. Oh, I see. There are two. Yeah, gotta hang up. Sorry. The first is it's autobiographical. Yeah, I ain't hooked. Goodbye. The second is... You're in it! Sorry! <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> Joker! Oh, Hollywood! Let's make movies! <laughs> John Lincoln's had Penny still here. And that old dinosaur trophy proves it, but rats didn't see the security beam. Warning, sensors indicate intruder in Batcave. Jean-Paul? Voice identification positive. Intruder is Tim Drake, Robin. Phew, voice is empty. Wait a minute. This is training area. Cut out figures of all the key bad guys in Gotham City. And these are the switches which make them flip out of the walls. Joker! Two-Face! Penguin, Poison Ivy, and more. Every figure embedded with those things he fires out of those gauntlets. Ah! I thought I'd made it clear you're not welcome here, Robin. Maybe I don't take a hint too well. I am supposed to keep an eye on you until Bruce returns. If he returns. You know, your attitude sucks, Paul. Not Paul! Oh. Batman! Batman! Bruce hampered himself with a partner. Come out from behind that rock! Nice going, Robin. Head to head with a guy who's a trained assassin from birth. This is my crusade! I am the righteous! I will wash the slime of Gotham into the sewers! They will fear me as they never feared him! And what happened to Robin, Paul? I thought we were friends! You... You... Uh... Tim, I'm... I'm sorry. I'm really so... Keep your distance. So much to think about. The responsibility. And the system kicks in. It's been less than a year since I found out I'm more than just Jean-Paul Valley. I am Azrael, the avenging angel. And now, Batman. I'm just trying to get it right, Robin. Robin. He's gone. The police will never suspect us. All we need 
here is oh, 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 Batman! Boss, he's beat his toy. Oops, the Batman! We're doomed! You criminals are a cowardly and superstitious lot. <laughs> you quail in terror before <laughs> the Batman. You're under... Cut, cut, cut the projector! They've seen enough! about a gentleman. Can we get financing, Mr. Zedmore? The high concept mega merchandising possibilities and it tells a story. Uh, Paragon Pictures would be interested in handling this, but... But? You gotta lose the dwarf. Lose the dwarf? I will not despoil my vision. My artistic integrity is assailed and an eensy-weensy costume was all I could get on short notice. So Lenny will just have to get other work. Hmm, let me think. Sorry, ah, Mr. Yes. Zedmore. Ah, I had to call you out here to take a meeting with the psycho or he'd have killed me. Kenneth Berkowitz, this property has box office written all over it. Huh? Uh, I'll give you ten million to go into pre-production, Mr. Kerr, but uh, you still gotta lose the dwarf. I'm so grateful. <laughs> All my life in Gotham, I felt alone and unappreciated. All my idiosyncrasies, my sense of fun. All misunderstood. But you like me. <laughs> oh, you really like me. <laughs> Hooray for Hollywood. One good thing came out of all this, Benedict. Jack Drake will be out of hospital soon and on his way home to his son. A damn Sir Hemi for Grey. If his manservant hadn't called the police, we could have been back here in Gotham City with $50 billion in the bank. Who is he, Chandra? I've never seen him before. You can't lie to me, Chandra. You never could. But we have other matters to attend to, and this apartment will make a suitable base for operations. Isn't it enough that you murdered a whole village? Correction, my dear. We did. And because of your apparent complicity with that incident, you're in no position to refuse me. Together, we have the power to kill at a distance. And by proving it is possible, I will raise all the money I need. It happened shortly after you arrived at Gotham International, Mr. Wayne? We just left the plane. My legs just buckled. Well, I'm sorry to tell you, it doesn't look good. A broken back is dangerous enough, but you've done nothing to help it heal. I'm ordering you to stay in bed here at Gotham General until we can work out a treatment plan. I shall see that he does, Doctor. But Alfred... Do that. I'll be back shortly. You know I can't stay in bed, Alfred. Asp is here with Chandra. I can find... Oh! Bruce, I have never questioned you before or been disloyal, but I will not be part of your self-destruction. Anything but that. If you do not obey the doctor's orders, I shall resign my post, effective immediately. Alfred, I have got to find Chandra, whatever the cost. In that case, sir, I shall return to Wayne Manor and clear my rooms. Good day, Mr. Wayne. tried and true traditional Batman. He's changed to some sort of metallic outfit. Very techno. And where's his teen idol co-star these days? Hmm. Anyway, and Albert, they did such a good job. You made a mistake <laughs> deciding to walk these streets alone. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't do it again. You want to keep shooting this joker? Oh, by all means, a new element has entered our plot line. A harsher, more brutal Batman. <laughs> but why? Perhaps the Russians will reveal something. The camera never lies, you know. What's last night's body count, Harvey? Uh, three punks in Gotham General having those bat razor blade things taken out of them. Mm -hmm. A burglar over in Midtown found in an alley with both legs broken. Two crack dealers mm -hmm. from the waterfront on ventilators. Three months of it. Every yeah. night, a one-man war on the streets. Mm -hmm. Would you consider that we're looking at a seriously disturbed person here? That Batman, to coin a phrase, is losing it? I don't know what it is, but I like it. Mm -hmm. Honor, I'll tell you, clear your day. Honor. I just received this in my mail this morning. What you got, Commissioner? Movie poster. Uh, sort of. Joker presents in association with Paragon Pictures. The Death of the Batman, starring the Joker Batman and a cast of a thousand killers. You'll believe a Batman can uh, die? Rated B. Suitable for everyone except Batman. I'd like the bat signal if I thought he'd come, but lately he seems so... Aloof? He's indifferent. The way Batman behaves these days, he's gonna get someone killed. Much as I like his new toad, I worry that someone will be a cop. <sighs> as real. No. I am Batman, St. Omar. Help me. The crusade. I see no end to it. You weary of it, huh? as I did once, marching the dusty road to Tyre and Antioch, longing to see the gates of Jerusalem. But this dark city needs you, Azrael, 
an avenger of the innocent. A crusade to save Gotham from itself. Oh, but who will save me? Every waking hour I spend as the Batman. What sleep I get is haunted by dreams of Saint Dumas. Are they dreams? Or part of the system? Are you part of my programming? Or am I going insane? Routine computer scan, Gotham City Media completed for today, reveals coded message for Batman in TV commercial sponsored by Paragon Pictures, advertising movie, Death of Batman, to be directed by The Joker. The Joker? Azrael, the Avenging Angel. No. Though I am Batman, bitten to this place by the demon Venus. No, the Joker, calling his movie The Death of Batman. There was a hidden message. The computer decoded it. It's a warehouse. 2 a.m. All is dark. Deserted. Unless night lenses. Streets. Indoors. No. No, a movie set. And here are a building. Entrance wide open. Light! Let us off. Joker in a white tuxedo. Of all the gin joints in all the towns in all the world, you walk into mine. <gasps> Admit, Batsy, I slay you. Action! Joker, these things are firing blanks. You said we could waste the money. Boys, 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 I can't have mere extras playing out the big scene. After all, it is my name above the title. Oh, man, the bat freaks get down! Keep the camera rolling, easy. You got it, Joe Kennedy. It's curious. Something about the way the Batman is moving, it's, it's not right. The ferocity, the lack of grace, the sheer brutality. Oh. No. no, it's it's hardly possible, but what? It's, it's not him! Damon! It's not bloody him! This is the 45 Magnum Bat Pretender, <laughs> the most powerful handgun in the world, and I can't remember how many shots I fired out of it, so <laughs> you've got to ask yourself, do I feel lucky? Transgressor! Surely you're not so young, you never heard that before. All right, hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> you will pay! Forget it. C come on, phony. Make my dailies. <laughs> I know you're new to this role, pal, but here's the scenario. <laughs> this is the part where Batsy's beaten me, and he turns me over to the man in the white coats. <laughs> oh, are you following me here? No! No! Oh, well, um, I go back to my comfy padded little room, and my medication, and my electrical balls of therapy. Oh. Oh. No, this is where you pay. Clean this grand old house for the last time. Who's there? State your business. It's Alfred, former butler to this establishment. Young man, I want a word with you. Pennyworth. Now look here, Jean Paul. A cobweb, disgraceful, dust everywhere, windows broken. Wayne Manor is a ruin. What do you want? Master Bruce needs help. I've come to ask you to supply it. Impossible. He is about to destroy any chance he ever had of walking again. I cannot help him. The crusade has begun. I have defeated Joker. Now I must hunt down the last Arkham Asylum escapee. Abattoir is preying again upon members of his family. And Batman must avenge! Bruce gave you that title. He deserves a little of your time. He is trying to rescue Dr. Kinsolving from a certain Benedict Asp. It was Asp who... I'm not interested, Mr. Pennyworth. I have work to do. Chandra, Chandra. Oh, thank God. Bruce, you shouldn't have followed us. You're back. You're quite a detective, Mr. Wayne, is it? Or would you prefer Sir Hemingford Gray? The beating you only gave you at Monkley was meant to silence you forever. At least this left you barely able to walk. I can still take you down, Asp. Not necessarily. This piece of headgear I'm wearing rather gives me the edge. And, as you evidently mean rather a lot to Chandra here, what we're about to do to you has a certain piquancy. No! Don't touch me! Lay a finger on her and... Ah, but a finger is all it takes to augment my psychic power with Chandra's healing ability. With this helmet to reverse the polarity, I focus the combined result on you and... Ah! Kill you! No! No! Yes, Chandra, the power flows out of you and you can't stop it. Maybe I can't stop it, but I can refocus it. What? And direct my thoughts at you! No! You will cause a feedback 
What's the matter, Montoya? Here, have a donut. Sell your stomach. You got a tape on or something, Harvey? How you can eat in a room where five people have been butchered is beyond me. Hey, hey, it's like the man says. Chewing helps me concentrate. Uh, and I need to figure out a way to nail this SOB abattoir before he strikes again. Well, how come I never heard of this creep? Who is he? Name's Kenyon Etchison. He's a serial killer. But he preys on his own family. Mm -hmm. Only thing is, as far as we know, these five were the last living relatives he had in Gotham. So where he strikes next and who he chooses for a victim is anybody's guess. Well, we're not the only ones guessing. Sergeant, look on the floor. Well, what do you know? A little bat shaped razor blade. Maybe he knows something we don't. Computer relay on. Computer patched into helmet circuits. This is Batman. I am in the Etchison family vault, Gotham Old Cemetery. Fresh footmarks in the dust and a fragment of bone. Scanning. Provide analysis. Sample is not more than 24 hours old. Blood and bite marks still fresh. Blood and tissue type conforms to male victim of abattoir murder reported this morning. Breakdown. Calcium level. Run nine. results on genealogical check. Etchison family. Check confirms existence of second cousin to abattoir named Graham Etchison working in Gotham City. Note, files recently accessed by third party matching abattoir description. Subject may be in danger. Computer off. Computer off. But the system remains with you forever. Oh, Saint Omar. Forgive me. Why do you deny me by donning the mantle of the bat, by upholding the tradition of a false father? Uh, Bruce Wayne helped me. I he was not my father. Your true allegiance is to the Brotherhood of the Order of saint Dumas. You inherited my mantle upon your father's death. You became the living Azrael avenging angel. You carry the seal of your ancestors handed down from your father. Seal? He gave me no seal. Sigil. Your inheritance cannot be fulfilled without it. Without it. Without it. Sigil. He never gave me. No. No. No, I am the Batman. And there is an innocent life at stake. Excellent work, Officer Montoya. But how did you figure that out? I remembered something in Abattoir's file about an uncle, small time Hood. He's inside now on a fraud rap. But city records indicated a child born out of wedlock to this guy, a Graham Etchison. Seemed likely it was the same Graham Etchison works at Dr. Tompkins' orphanage. Makes him Abattoir's cousin. And if Abattoir knows of his existence, he's the next victim. We're here. <laughs> Dr. Tompkins, a pleasure oh, to... Commissioner, thank God you are passing. I think Graham's been abducted. Computer, what commercial property might Abattoir be using to hold his cousin? No properties listed to serial killer under name Abattoir or real name Edgerson. What about his first name, Kenyon? Two entries. One, Kenyon Eating Systems Complex at North Shore, Gotham, established 1939. Two, abandoned warehouse, formerly A1 Salvage, 1312 Tennyson Street. Registered to name E. Kenyon three weeks after Arkham Asylum breakout. Edgerson Kenyon. The arrogant fool merely turned his name around. How long till we arrive at the warehouse? ETA at Tennyson Street, 15 minutes. ETA at Tennyson Street, 15 minutes. Computer off. Computer off. Computer off. John Paul's the Batman now. Says he doesn't need a Robin. He'd go crazy if he knew I was helping him. But the Batcave computer is still damaged after Bruce's fight with Bane. And as I'm nearer that warehouse than he is, I may just beat him to it. In the days when this warehouse was used for salvaging trash paper, dear cousin, this little gadget was used to compress the pulp into bales for shipping. And although the process may take a little time, it will suffice to fulfill my task of extinguishing the miserable Edison dynasty and pulp you! Do we have visitors? Looks like I'll be forced to accelerate your demise. John Paul beat me to it. But well, why is he climbing the fire escape if Avatar is inside? Oh, Avatar is making a getaway over that roof. No, no, mustn't be stopped. Batman, did you make sure Graham 
get some safe. Go away, Robert. Sly and self. No, no. Batman, you're back here towards the skylight. Help me. Pull me up, Batman. I can't hang on much longer. He's hanging on by a sheer drop by his fingertips. You are Azrael, the avenging angel. You will punish the transgressor. You are Azrael, the avenging angel. You will punish the transgressor. No, I am Batman. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I stopped him. I stopped him from killing Graham Etchison, didn't I? God, what have you done? The white zone is for immediate loading and unloading of passengers. Tim! Timothy, he's over here! Son? Dad? Dad! Oh, you look great. I should hope so, after spending time in the best hospitals in Europe. A new wheelchair, too. Uh-huh. All paid for by some character called Sir Hemingford Gray. Seems he was also responsible for freeing me from those kidnappers. I wish I could have met him. The taxi's waiting, Mr. Drake. You'll uh, have time to talk to Tim later. He'll need to be on his way to school, though, soon. Lead on, Mrs. Mack. See you later, Tim. Sure, Dad. Wait a minute. No, but... Hey, mister, turn around. Uh, excuse me, are you... Hello, Tim. Bruce! It was you, wasn't it? You did it. You were the Hemingford guy who saved Dad. Did you return on the same flight? No, I've been overseas for some months recuperating. But I wanted to make sure he got back to Gotham okay. And to see if you were still in one piece. Boy, do we need to talk. But hold it. I've only just realized. You're... you're walking. I'm cured, Tim. My back's as good as new. But, uh, but a terrible price was paid to achieve that. But that means you can, you know, you can be Batman again. No, Tim. I've retired and I've never felt better about a decision in my life. Come on, I'll show you why. I know you're not Batman. Not the one who's looked out for this city. Not the one I know. What makes you so sure, Commissioner? You let Avatar's victim die in that ghastly piece of machinery. And through your inaction, you as good as executed Avatar before he could be brought to trial. Avatar's luck ran out. How many more do you think he'd have killed? We have a system of law, mister. Which the Batman has always worked outside of. I will carry on that crusade as I see fit. You kill again! I won't commit murder, Commissioner Gordon. <laughs> Damn, damn, damn! Bruce, you came to see Chandra. And Tim is here, too. Here, have some tea. Careful, the cups are hot. Bruce, there's nothing in the cup. Benedict Asp was directing a blast of negative mental power aimed at killing me, reversing Chandra's natural healing abilities. She simply refocused her thoughts, made them destructive, killing him, but through the reversal process, curing me. When I came to, my back was whole again, but Chandra had regressed to infancy. It's time for your breakfast, Miss Chandra. Oh, nurse says I gotta go, Bruce. Will you come again real soon and visit with me? Will you bring me a present? You know I will, Chandra. Be a good girl now. Twinkle, twinkle. I want to spend the rest of my life helping her and others like her. Bruce, I understand, but there's something you should know before you commit to that. Will you drive me back via Wayne Manor? Of course, Tim, but I warn you. That's a part of my life I've left behind. Wayne Manor. A virtual ruin. Alfred resigned. Everything fallen apart. John Paul lives in the Batcave full time now. Like I told you, he's gone totally weird. Not that I've seen him since the Abattoir episode. He killed Abattoir? Well, he allowed him to die. I thought I left things in capable hands. You say he sealed the cave? I'll get the sledgehammers. Here you are, Bruce. The back cave. Paul! Oh, he hasn't even cleared away the damage from my fight with Bane. What's this? Yuck. We cold canned food. Voice. Oh, my God. What are you doing here, Wayne? Look at you. Look at what you've become. A monster. The back suit's new. It looks like every joint is servo assisted. The gloves fire little batching blades, and the claws are razor sharp. But that can't be a flamethrower nozzle. Or can it? You have a valid reason for coming here. I do now. 
I'm taking back the mantle of the bat before you spill more blood on it. You don't deserve it. You never did. You left me a city to protect. I did as I saw fit. How many lives might have been spared if you had taken such a stand against animals like Avatar, or the Joker, or me? Maybe it's you who never deserved to wear this cow, Wayne. That does it. Oh! You won't sit me down with your fists, Wayne. Oh! oh. I'm the Batman. Oh! oh. I keep wishing a Batman. And no one says, oh, get up. You take it from me. Oh, I'm going to get out. Don't be here when I get back. Bruce, you're bleeding. I'm okay, but I'm not ready to take him on. Physically, I'm in perfect health, but the reflexes are shot. The physical memory is gone. But it took years to condition yourself, Bruce. How can you get back to 100% in time to take on Paul? The crash course. Intensive training at the hands of a master. The Lady Shiva. Lady Shiva? Well, sounds more like a one-way ticket to hell. Your scent, sweet jasmine, your eyes, cold stone. What brings you to Gotham City, Lady Shiva? It is well known your life is lived only for violence. My life is lived for skill, Master Shah. The challenge I crave is here, in Chinatown. Blood is what you crave. Are you not a vampire, perverting the ungodly gift which could make you immortal? I care nothing for death. To prove myself unconquerable in life, that is my passion. You have chosen me as the proof. Call your attendant. Let her bear witness. A witness to my defeat. But my disciples will surely seek vengeance if that witness were to speak. Call your attendant. So we. Master? A witness to our combat. Bid your attendant take note. Your opponent wears the mask of Tango. Hmm? You wear a mask? Oh. Silence! Oh. Oh. Oh, do you have your proof, vampire? I do. You have witnessed. Tell his disciples. Tell them to seek vengeance where they find this mask. The mask of Tango! Now let's get this straight, Commissioner Gordon. For years, you've asked me to condone the Batman. Now you want me to sanction your men going after him? He's out of control, Mr. Mayor, making a travesty of the law. Our crime is down 42%. The Batman is exactly what Gotham needs. Not this Batman. What's that? Nothing. Uh, now about this gun-running operation that started uptown. I know you are here in my house. I prefer to remain in the shadows, Lady Shiva. It is better that you do not see my face. Because you are the Batman? I was. I knew it when you came to me two days ago. And you have considered my request? To train you in the martial arts? To test me, so that I can regain my skills and redeem the mantle of the bat. You are never worthy of me. You will not kill. Then you refuse? No. Your request came at a suitable moment. Here, put this on. What is it? The mask of Tengu. It represents an ancient deity who adopted the guise of a bat. Very appropriate. Your first lesson is about to begin. Shiva, wait. I'm not ready. You wear the mask! The mask of Tengu! It is you I seek! Revenge! Yeah! Yeah! This piano in the city is Robin again. Bruce told me to run surveillance on John Paul. He's been after a team of gun runners working out of these warehouses. Now he's down on that roof, acting real strange. Maybe this telephoto lens will help me figure out what he's doing. Looks like he's punching thin air. <coughs> I am Azrael. I am Batman. The vision grows stronger. My dear father, who wore the garb of Azrael before the end, saved a love the Crusader Knight and founded the Brotherhood I was born to protect. No, I must protect the city, control myself, concentrate on stopping these gun runners, find out who's behind their operation. Is that everything? AK-47, Uzi, striker, assault weapons, uh, two cases missing. Find them. Mr. L doesn't like start going astray. Okay, okay. Will you stop flipping that damn coin of yours? Huh? Ah, oh, this. Don't think it's a coin. Mr. L give it me. Here. Looks real old. What's this right in here? French, is it? St. Thomas? It's not. <laughs> Bad man! Give me that. Coin? You got it. Stay away from me. The city, the medallion of the Order of St. Dumas. And this one is engraved with my father's name. Wax it, boy! <laughs> Burn, unbelievers! Batman, no! Where did you get this city? Where? Uh, Patrick, 
was flipping it like a coin. He said he was given it by Leah. Leah? My father's murderer? He's alive? To reclaim my role as Batman, I asked Lady Shiva to train me, test me. I can still fight, but the physical memory is gone, and only she can help me get it back. But it seems her method is to put these expert fighters against me. I'm beginning to suspect I've been set up. I am defeated, Master Tangle. I now see that you are worthy to defeat my master. But you may not fare so well. Against his last disciple. Defeat his master? He can't be referring to Shiva. Unless this mask of Tengu I'm wearing is doing more than hiding my identity. Robin, right on schedule. Are you still in the woodlands? Bruce, you were right about the Batcave. It's empty. Looks like Jean-Paul won't be returning here for a while yet. So now that I'm in here, what do you want me to do? First things first. What's happening with the gun running investigation? I followed Paul out to the Riverside warehouses again last night. He clobbered a couple of the small fry operators. One of them was carrying a medallion. One of the figures on it bore a strong resemblance to Paul in his Azrael uniform. Must be a sigil of St. Dumas. Probably sacred. Paul went ape. He was yelling that it was his father's and then fried the joint with that flame cam in his back. And those guys were lucky to escape. He got a name out of them, though. Must be the big man. Lee or something. Lee, huh? That's him. Jean Paul was yelling that this guy killed his dad. Lee, huh? Still alive. Still running guns into Gotham. Yes, it's possible. No body was ever found. I want you to keep shadowing Paul. He's spiraling out of control. You need help. And I've reached out to an old friend. He should be with you in the Batcave right now. In the Batcave? Who would know how to get in here? The first Robin would, Tim. Yeah, my predecessor, Dick Grayson. Nightwing. Oh! Uh, Batman! I don't know! Gunrunner in a warehouse? Susie! One of a medallion belonging to my father. The other was your business card. With the name of my father's murderer written on it. So you will tell me. Where is Leia? Okay. Okay. Guy named Candy runs a string of girls out at the stripping post. Club on Munch and Wagner. He was the middleman for... Yeah. This had better be the truth. Oh, Batman. Wait a minute. You said you'd untie me. Nobody's gonna find me down here. 500 feet over the city. The same parapet I stood on the night I first began my mission as the Batman. To launch out into space with only a thin wire between me and eternity. If I cannot make this leap of faith, I can never again wear the bat costume. Just throw the grapnel, swing out across the chasm, and tomorrow it can be a batarang again. I can't do it. Not yet. Hey, hey, quit pushing, will you, Batman? I told you I'd show you a candy list. No need to get agitated. Look, his apartment's just here. Open the door. Well, you gonna make it worth my while, mister? Hey, maybe I can make it worth your while. You have a key. Open it. You can keep the funny suit of armor on if you like. Just just lose those basic left thingies. I'll do it. Hey! I don't be nasty. Oh, oh my God, Candy! This is Leon's blood. He got here before us. The blood? They are made of a sacrificial victim to the demon lord, Venus. I think I'm gonna puke. As Leon will avenge. Sounds like this John Paul Valley guy crossed the double yellow line a few exits back, Robin. He still thinks he's this medieval hitman, this uh, Azrael. Bruce figured Paul could work through his problems, Nightwing. Uh, we're nearly at Bruce's camp. Why didn't Bruce ask me to stand in for him, Tim? I was the first Robin. Surely I'm number one on the draft list. There wasn't a lot of time to make calls, Dick. And you have a light away from Gotham City now. Wait a second. There's Bruce in that clearing doing push-ups. But there are two figures sneaking up on him. God, come on! 206, 207. Oh, 1,207 push ups. Nearly my personal best as Batman. Hey! What? The last of Master Shao's disciples wishes to avenge his master's death against the one who wears the mask of his assassin, the former Batman. You wear the mask of Tengu! Prepare to pay for the murder you committed with your life! But I am not the assassin. 
we both know that I vowed never to kill, right, Lady Siva? Ah, but you wear the mask now. You asked me to retrain you, to make you fit once more to be the Batman. You must defeat this final foe to complete your training. What? What? I can see why Bruce picked this old lumber camp for training in, but who's the attacker? You know, but that's the Lady Shiva in the black jumpsuit, and she's twice as deadly. This guy's the toughest so far. Those right flails are giving him quite an edge. You are losing, Masked One. They are this last test, and you will not only forsake your right to play the Batman's name, but you will She's not kidding. Got to even the stakes. Only by killing him can you pass. Only by breaking your vows. It is the hidden cost of accepting me as your teacher. Uh, I suspected all along that your training would come to this. I have no choice but to use the ultimate sanction. Fire! No! He's dead. You broke your vow never to kill. You passed the test. Honor is satisfied. You killed the last disciple. Farewell, Batman. I agree. Robin, you weren't supposed to see this. Bruce, you killed a man. You've made yourself no better than John Paul Valley. Hold the flashlight steady, Montoya. This must be the place, Harvey. The woman said she heard screaming from below ground. Over here with the flashlight. Oh, my God. And that's a bat line he's trust to the chair with. This is Sergeant Bullock. Ambulance to Brave Vogel Wineries now. Got a man here suffering from exposure. Rat bites. Oh, did that man forget this guy? Or did he leave him to die? You killed a man, Bruce. Is that what it takes to be Batman these days? Is that why this John Paul Azrael, whoever he is, guy is running a mock around Gotham? What happened to the Bruce Wayne I knew when I was Robin? Is this what you're teaching Tim as acceptable behavior? Now he's your partner? Dick, Nightwing, listen to me. Listen to you. You hand Gotham over to that nutcase alder boy. You leave this kid out to dry without a snowball's chance. Killing this creep doesn't make you as bad as the swine we used to hunt. It makes you worse. Why did you do it, Bruce? It turns everything into a lie. Uh, uh, a skillful opponent. Honor is satisfied. It's a lie. It's a blow I've never tried before. The Shiva was going to keep sending her enemies for me to deal with unless I appeared willing to kill, to appease her bloodlust, to satisfy her need to corrupt. The trick was to put this guy under just deep enough to fool her. Sure fooled us. Bruce, I'd say you just passed out of the academy with flying colors. That depends on whether we can beat Jean-Paul to finding Lee Hardick. I don't want any more blood on Batman's hands. Let's get to work. Night duty in Blackgate Prison. I pull overtime just when my wife's not doing a night shift. It must be a full moon. Every loony in ten block is acting up. Sooner they rebuild Arkham Asylum, sooner we can get rid of these weirdos. Did you give the Riddler a sedative? Every hour, on the hour, anything to stop him asking those damn questions. Who's that having a nightmare? Think maybe you ought to take a look-see? Ah, that's Bane. Uh, Every oh. night he's hallucinating. Hundreds of bats are crawling all over him. Withdrawal symptoms off of some drug. Get off of me. <sighs> Nightmare. Oh, awake now. But it's different. I can feel it. He has returned. The Batman has returned. Ah! Five hundred feet over the city. The cave swirling in the wind. My cowl. My true face. Back where it belongs. The Batarang line snakes out across the chasm. And I am a creature of the night once more. What have we got for tonight, you two? We got plenty, Commissioner. Tell them, Montoya. The hood we found in that rat's paradise alleges he was beaten up and left for dead there by the Batman. Now, there's nothing to contradict that. It fits in with the Batman's current M.O. He seems hell-bent on tracking down the leader of the gun-running racket operating out of Riverfront. This guy didn't spill the address of the big operator to Batman, but he gave it to us. Mm -hmm. And operators don't come much bigger. Carlton Leha. Carlton Leha? Mm -hmm. Alive in Gotham City? You better believe it, Commissioner. We have the address, too. A penthouse with helicopter platform, if you please, in the waterfront district. If we're fast, we can make the collar before Batman shows and starts slashing people up. Good work, Harvey. Let's move out. Yeah. The police computer I hacked into was updated correctly. Colton Lehar's penthouse is at the top of the skyscraper, right? 
And that must be his chopper coming in to land on that helipad. We'll have to move fast. Azrael here, as bats can't be far behind us. It's only a matter of time before he beats this information out of somebody. Hey, wait a second. On the bridge over the river, parked in the shadows. A Batmobile. Paul's here already. And there's no sign of Bruce. Welcome back to Gotham City, Mr. Lee. How was your trip to Europe? Thanks, made to the North Beers. A successful deal was struck. To my only take delivery of a shipment of arms, no longer required by the warring factions in Yugoslavia. But before that... Hey, look, hey! Hey, Now that men call you murderer, now that men call you blasphemer, it is the duty of the angel Azrael to bring you punishment! <laughs> Is the Batman? No, I am the Batman. What? You've done enough damage, and it ends here. You chose retirement. I shall make that a permanent arrangement. <laughs> Two Batmen in Gotham City, but the armored one also professing to be the avenging angel Azrael of the Order of Saint Dumas. Quiet, murderer. Let Leha go. You're choking him. He killed my father. Uh, he will pay. Then I'll take him in. Is that the difference between us? Yes, I think it is. You take them in, I take them down. Like Abattoir? Abattoir deserved to die even more than most. But Graham Etchison didn't. You had time to save him. You didn't take it. Maybe it's the system. The mental conditioning you were given as a child to make you kill without pity. But don't you see? It makes you no better than Leha. The blood is on your hands, and so I reclaim the mantle of the back. You're broken. The past. I am the future. You are yesterday's news. Ah! The sharpened blade on his gauntlets cut me. Enough! This squabble has ceased to amuse me. Your next player? You both seem to have forgotten that this is my penthouse roof. You are surrounded by my men. And as there is no escape, you will now die. That suit of armor had better be bulletproof. It will save me, but you are doomed! Not uh, if I have you in front of me. Put me down! Fire! <laughs> Annoying as it is for you to save my life like this, Sean Paul, I want you to point that flame cannon of yours just in front of those hoods. Give him a scare. No! That's what you must have been! Then I'll do it for you. Where's the trigger on this thing? Uh, Got it. No! I'll get you out of here in the chopper! Good work, Patrick! We will deal with the unfinished business later! No! I will not be cheated of my prey! Oh, wait. You can't pull Leha's helicopter down with a grapnel in line. If he will not come down to me, I shall go up to him! No, you hit the tail rotor. It'll pull you in. Ah. Ah. Oh. Let go of me, Dennis! My kick's caught in your glove box, and we're 300 feet up and heading toward the river. Look up there, Commissioner, hanging from that gunship. Good grief, the Batman. But who's that guy in the old Batman outfit? Whoever he is, they're both being reeled into that chopper's tail rotor like fish on a line. In 20 seconds, they'll be chopped liver. I don't understand it, Mr. Lee. How did chopper's not responding to the control? Everything's set up for the biggest arms dean of the century and two Batman appear. Wait a minute, I know what it is. Something's caught in the tail rotor. What? Wait, I look. By the demon lobbyist, the two Batman being reeled in by the tail unit. In that case, we might be okay once it slices them up. I can't free myself from the barbs on your armored suit, Jean Paul. Let go of the line before we're killed. No, Leia must not escape. He murdered my father. Why doesn't Batman just leave Paul to it and drop in the river up? Something's wrong, that way. And they're running out of slack on that line. Wait a minute. That's not their only problem. Unless Leha's pilot gets maneuverability, that chopper's gonna hit the bridge pilot! Oh my god! Too late! Too late for Leha, maybe. But look! Two figures falling into the river. Come on, kid! Batman? Is it really you this time? <laughs> it's me, Commissioner. So where's my stand-in? There he is, climbing out of the highway on the other side. I've got to stop him. He's out of control. And that's an understatement. But wait a minute. Who's the guy in the blue and gold chasing him? An ally of yours, I hope. A very old friend to us both, Commissioner. And I hope he's got more sense than to... Than to try and take back that other guy down? Nightwing! No! Give it up, 
Azrael, or whatever you call yourself. Nightwing, get back. I am the Batman. Not a Batman I'd ever have wanted to be rubbing with. Ugh. Fool, my father's killer barks in hell. You meddle in a sacred crusade. Not. I'm just looking at a pile of gizmos with an attitude problem. As you wish. <laughs> now leave me alone. Nightwing, you okay? Oh, caught me off guard. Slice me up good with those shurikens of his. Yes, Robin. Nightwing's a little cut up, but okay, Batman. All right. Look after him. Our friend left the Batmobile behind. I may be able to get to the cave before him. Okay. Door open. Nightwing, why would Paul leave the Batmobile here if he leaves it to... Booby Trap! Batcave access door open. The crusade is over. Bruce Wayne is a memory. The city is cloaked in the metal of the bat. Its citizens guarded by the blade of Azrael. For I have inherited not only Bruce Wayne's title, I now possess the medallion of St. Dumas that belonged to my father. The sigil that confirms my right to deal with wrongdoers as the angel of death. Warning. Intruder in Batcave. The final piece falls into place. Robin, come down into the lights. Not Robin, Jean-Paul. It's Batman. And you've got a lot to answer for. No. You rigged the Batmobile to explode, but you forgot to disable the ejector seat. Get out! I am the Batman! Get out! You are wrong. I own that house up there. I equipped this cave. Only because of your inheritance, and now you have passed it on to me, just as this man passed it on to you. Put the picture down, Paul. It is important to me. Oh, yes, your parents' portrait. I saw the original upstairs in the hall. I bet your daddy gave you lots of things, didn't he? I created the Batman. I am the Batman. No, you are Bruce Wayne. Get out! Slink off to your cars and your women and your parties and take your precious mommy and daddy with you! Take off that costume. Yeah. Batman is not about technology and firepower ball. Batman is about restraint, control, strategy. Unbeliever, philanderer, come out and face me! Behind you! You don't understand, Paul. No. Being the Batman is not about gadgets. It is not about body armor. It is about three things. Speed, skill, and sense. I defeated Bane where you could not. Make yourself my enemy, and you share his fate. I've made mistakes, Paul, but you need help. I am on a holy crusade. Saint Dumas himself comes to me. He sets me the task of wreaking vengeance against the evildoers. Paul, these are hallucinations implanted in you by the order of Saint Dumas. No. Their brainwashing has short-circuited your sense of right and wrong. He's here. He waits in the shadows. It's a bat. We are alone in here. Huh? Whoever, whatever Dumas was, he sent for his dead. No, no, the shadow crumbles. Was it just a rock? Where is your judgment? Your objectivity? How can you guard a city when your own sanity lies defenseless? I am Batman. I am Batman, because if I am not, I am nothing! The flame cannon. Thought I'd exhausted his suit's fuel supply on Leha's roof. Burn! Burn! Out of gas? Wait, wait. Uh, let's talk a truth! We're not enemies, Jean-Paul. Think about what I'm saying. Thinking? Yes, but I prefer action! <laughs> Caught by the oldest trick in the book. You're bleeding! You are... They defeated you here in the Batcave, Wayne. Now I stand over you in triumph. Not from where I'm lying, Paul. Oh, oh. Come back. I am the true Batman. Admit defeat. Only the true Batman knows this cave like I do, Paul. Only the true Batman fell into it at the age of eight from the south pasture up overhead. Why don't you follow me? I'll show you the way up there. A trick up memory lane for the real Batman. It's this tunnel. I can hear you breathing. You cannot escape. It's so narrow by the yard. He is right. He is right. It is so narrow that only an eight-year-old could have slipped down here. I can't get any further back up there. I can feel the wooden baffle my father fitted to fill the hole I fell through as a child. Maybe I could dislodge it, but I can't escape through it. Damn. Armor makes it impossible to move further up, but you won't escape. Perfect. The passage is so narrow, he's taking the suit off. And if I have guessed correctly, he'll be trying to spot me in the gloom at any moment. Just hope he keeps the helmet on long enough to try his... Night lenses. Bingo. 
sun should be rising right about now. So get a good grip on the wooden baffle and... Take off the helmet. I'm blind! Good grief. I've forgotten. So long since I saw him without a mask. He is not much more than a Stringy hair. Little glasses. His whole life ahead of him. Uh-oh. What was I thinking? You are the Batman. I... I am nothing. That is not true. You are a victim. You have been used and betrayed. The system possessed me. Let me tell you a few things about Gotham City, Paul. It has a population of 7.5 million. It has the largest percentage of sociopathic criminals in any metropolitan conurbation. But it also has businesses, schools, parks, a river, ordinary people. And it's got a future for you. If you are willing to go out there and find it. You're not going to take me to the police? I probably should. A long time ago, I fell through that hole. I haven't really ever stopped falling. Maybe you can go the other way. You, you forgive me? Go on. Get out there. Make a life for yourself. <sighs> the sun feels good, Batman. It's a new day. I wish you well, Jean-Paul Valley. <sighs> but for me... The darkness of the Batcave. The legacy of my parents' murder that makes me the only possible Batman. And perhaps a colder future than ever. Huh? Aren't we being a tad melodramatic, sir? It's Alfred. I've decided you are re-employing me from today. Not for your sake, you understand, but because that fine old house up there needs the full-time care and attention of Batman. Any Batman is too busy to provide. Absolutely. Now, by some miracle, I have conjured up a portion of Eggs Benedict for you in the scullery. If Master Dick and young Timothy haven't already polished it off. And if you'll leave that uniform out by the cave entrance, I'll try and have it dry for tonight's excursions. It's good to have you back, Alfred. No, sir. It's good to have you back.